Welcome, 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 everybody, to a brand new Spyro mod here. Okay, this isn't really a mod. This is actually the anti-piracy version of Spyro right here. We're on day three of the subathon, and we're going to do a whole playthrough of this version of the game that takes away your eggs, it takes away your gems, takes away your wife and daughter, firstborn son even, just throws them in the dumpster. This version of the game is truly evil and cursed. Some of you may even remember it from your childhood if you had like burned copies of the game. But we're going to try to beat it this time. We're going to try. I don't know if it's even really going to be possible. But what I did do is I have a secret. I have a weapon up my sleeve here, and that is cheating. <laughs> So what I have is a bunch of cheats that you can see all laid out right here. Uh, infinite health, infinite lives, gems are worth max. You gotta fight fire with fire here, guys. Moon jump. Spyro can fucking fly, okay? So we have that. Uh, and the extended sparks range from the get-go. So those are the cheats I have on. Now, again, before you give me shit for cheating, just be aware that I've chosen not to select the just have all the eggs or just instantly grab all the gems at the moment you enter an area. I'm, I'm being reasonable with this playthrough. I want it to be fun. So we're going to see if we can fight fire with fire here and get into this playthrough. Guys, count it down with me. Three, two, one, go. All right, wish me luck. Here we go. I'll start my first uh, save state right here while I'm thinking about it. <laughs> but yeah, guys, day three of the subathon right now. We're just getting started with it right now. Had a nice big breakfast. Uh, I was just, I had a big cup of coffee. We had a big, big, uh, big experience in the bathroom. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling, uh, spirits are high right now. We've been doing 24-7 streaming for the last three days, but I've been sleeping every day. I've been getting good nights of sleep. In fact, I've been sleeping in, dare I say. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's just get into this. Again, no timer. This is just going to be a casual, just to see if we can beat the sorceress. That's like the only goal of this playthrough. <laughs> and right, Oh, and there we go. So now you guys get to see kind of what's going on here. So it looks like I don't actually have the speed increase cheat on right now, which is probably for the better. That cheat tends to cause... Um, it tends to cause what's it called um game crashes so it's probably best that i don't have spyro's movement speed increased you'd think it would be aw <laughs> this is awesome so also also okay so just to explain this mod a little bit um i have what's called the uh the double jump mod on and that's what triggers the anti-piracy amongst some of these other things i probably have turned on as well um, the anti-piracy mod, to those of you who don't know, I, I kind of explained it at the start, but just to explain it once again. It's a version of this game that was actually specifically designed by the developers to avoid people playing this game on burnt CDs, which was a real thing, a, a big piracy issue back in the PlayStation 1 days when this game came out. So um, basically their safeguard from that wasn't to just lock people out of the game, it was to let them play just enough so that, like, they could get far into the game, but then they'll start getting things removed from their inventory. They'll start getting warped around at random to, like, different areas, uh, especially during boss fights and um, world transitions, like on the balloon and whatnot. It'll just take you back to Sunrise Springs instead of the level that you selected. Um, and, uh, yeah. I need to be careful with this moon jump. I need to figure out how to do this without, like, fucking going all over the place here. I can already tell this moon jump is going to be really fucking annoying. I might play with the cheats a little bit as I go through this as well. I might change some of the settings. Oh, wait a minute. I'm trying to see, like, if I can... Yeah, hold on. Because you can infinitely double jump like this. I'm trying to get, like, back down. I'm trying to master the art of going back down. Because right now, I'm, I get high as fuck in this shit, but... I need to go back down. Well, anyways, let's enter Sheila from the back and see how Spyro looks. Let's also, uh, quick save real quick here. <laughs> what am I looking at? <laughs> what the... What the fuck? <laughs> That's why we quick save, ladies and gentlemen. That is why we quick save. Look at this screen right now. Oh, he's trying to go in. Is it? Okay, I'm gonna load it. We're loading. F3, I believe. Yeah. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Hold on. I have to select the right slot. My bad. Yeah, weird. It didn't like save this. Even though I clearly save stated, it didn't save state. Weird. Well, we'll just start it again. We were just at the very start anyway, so it's no big deal. Uh, that was weird. 
I'll skip forward a little bit here. Okay. Let's try that again. Take two. I'll make sure my save states are working this time. I don't know why that didn't work at all. I clearly save stated. Like, I don't know what the fuck happened there. New game. Oh, wait, no, no. Don't overwrite. Don't overwrite. It looks like that's still saved there. Is it? Let's, let's load this file. Maybe it's not actually, maybe it's not all lost. Because we may not have the save state, but we have the memory card. Yeah, we're back here. Okay, we're good. Everything's good. Put it back on a full screen. And you know what, before I put it back on full screen, I want to try something real quick. I'm going to go, first of all, let me make a save state, actually. So if I press F1, okay, now my save states work for some, now they weren't before, but now they are. But yeah, Delana with the five gifts, by the way, and the fucking tier three earlier, I believe. Dude, Del Chugger's in the chat for It's Delana. You're a legend. Delana's been around for a while as well. A true lurker. Love you, Delana. I don't know why I'm not hearing the alerts, but thank you so much for that. Um, okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna turn up the speed. I'm just gonna do it. Speed, I believe speed 50 is what we want. Let's, let's see what that does. Yeah, yeah, now we're fucking talking. Now we're fucking talking, ladies and gents. All right, uh, should I try going into Sheila again? I'm kind of, I kind of don't want to. <laughs> let's, let's go this way. Oh my God. Fuck you, Zo. Interestingly, the gem value thing I don't think is working, where gems equal max value. But that's fine. I don't care. I don't need that shit. Where we're going, we don't need gems. Oh, fuck. If you just do, like, baby charges, you don't get the full speed. But let's definitely get the, uh, the requirements for the balloonist. Thank you for rest- so, okay, so more information about this anti-piracy thing is there's a really cursed and honestly creepy pasta. Uh, like this guy being on fire, for example. Or maybe I just did that just by flaming him. But is he supposed to be on fire normally? <laughs> but, uh, may maybe that was one of the cursed things about this. The devs really actually put quite a bit of interesting effort into the anti-piracy mod. Alright, I gotta save before every, uh, loading zone. Okay, save state. Let me just make sure it works. Okay. Um, yeah, it's pretty weird. What I was gonna say was not that, but... Hi, Spyro. But instead, start... I yes. Can't catch all. There wasn't the no op. Catch the... This is like, it's weird. It's like, oh god, oh god. <laughs> The speed cheat. Hold on, I want to see if I can do this with the speed cheat. Room, get him! Oh shit! <laughs> I'm wondering if these cheats are helping me or hindering me here. I might have to turn off the speed cheat for this one. Oh, maybe I can just hit the monkeys without the fucking. Yeah, look at this. Outsmarted, outplayed. I can't do that for round two. I don't think. Maybe I can. We'll see. Dude, fucking J- Who wishes they could have done this as a kid? Oh yeah, look at that. See, I'm getting it. Genius. Actually fucking genius. Die, bitch. Oh, did I- Oh wait, maybe you can't hit these ones without the skateboard. Hold on. Let me see if I can like dive bomb them from afar. The grounded ones might require the skateboard. Let me try this guy over here. Yeah, I think I need the skateboard for these guys. Hold on. Let me see if I can do it. I'll give it the old college try. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna see if I can turn off the cheat here. Hold on, let me see. It might not let me. I know these speed cheats, like, tend to not... Yeah, that's the thing with the speed cheat is I think I have to reset the, uh... Reset the the console to turn it off. So I'll just leave it on, dude. I'm I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm I don't know if I'm gonna get these monkeys though. To be honest with you, let me see. Maybe I can do this. Oh yeah, hold on. This is the move. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. This might be doable. 
We gotta fight fire with fire. To anyone in the comments that's like, dude, stop cheating. Bro, I'm just I'm just doing what I have to do here. God. He goes off to the right every time. Hold on. We got this. Okay, here we go, here we go. Go go to the right. No, dude, he's really good at dodging. Skateboarding might be impossible. <laughs> <laughs> one more try, one more try for the culture. If I can hit this guy, I'm a legend. Uh-oh. Oops. Didn't get the jump out. Here we go, here we go. Yes! Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get the fuck out of this area. There's no way I'm getting this egg. <laughs> it's alright. There's plenty of eggs left to go. Five lives. I feel like I might need another life. Well, maybe not. We'll see. But yeah, so real quick, I'm going to do something that might seem a little weird right now. Um, I'm actually going to... Oh, I know why the guys caught fires, because I have the Spyro instantly damages everything. It's the same effect as when you flame them. That actually is not a piracy effect, I don't think. But it kind of feels like one. Let me at least grab this egg over here. We definitely want to grab all the eggs that are just out and about in the world like this. Get a quick save. And then what I'm going to do real quick, after grabbing these juicy gems here... Oh, I'll grab the other egg over here as well before I do this. Get some of these nice gems here. Oh, also, I, I gotta remember, I don't have to even hit enemies. I can just walk into them. <laughs> they can't damage me, so there's no point in flaming anyone. Really. Die, bitch. Something about hitting an enemy at like a million miles per hour is just so satisfying to me. So, okay, so I've spent a pretty sufficient amount of time here, but what I'm gonna do is um, actually pause the emulator and check this. Check out what I'm about to do. I'm about to toggle fast forward. You might be wondering, why am I doing this? Well, the reason for this is so that um, I can trigger the Zoe, the special anti-piracy Zoe uh, spawn that occurs outside of the balloon. If you don't know what that is, just wait. That should be enough. We can go ahead and exit the level now. Put it back on full screen. <laughs> Zoe. Yeah, that's like the creepy pasta thing I was saying earlier, is the that Zoe spawn. So we'll go ahead and let's go say hi to her after grabbing this uh this beautiful egg right here. The A minor egg. Let's go talk to Zoe. Well, let's see what she has to say. Oh, look at this. You don't this version of Zoe does not exist in the vanilla game. I'm sorry, Spyro, but you seem to be playing a hacked version of this game. This may be an illegal copy. Since this copy has been modified, you may experience problems that would not occur on a legal copy. Scary stuff, everybody. Scary, weird stuff. This is definitely some shit right out of like some like EXE creepypasta. You know, they, there's like a whole genre. Guys, there's a whole genre of YouTube videos that are like, Mario Party pirated version EXE and it, like B Bowser's face is all distorted and he's like I, and he says shit they say shit like this this is a real thing made by the Spyro developers and it's turned into a whole creepy pasta genre now on the internet of like sorry you can't play our game we're now going to corrupt your entire life and you're dead now <laughs> like type shit that's like what these that's what these vibes are guys this is the original version of that like it's pretty fucking sick honestly that this really that this is a real thing that really exists. This isn't a mod, by the way. I know it says Spyro mod. Say this is a real thing made by the developers. I mean, the cheats are you could say the cheats are a mod, but it's a, it's a different story. Yeah, I love that the, that the devs made this version of the game. It's so dope. Like Yo, plenty Spyro. of childhoods just ruined because of this. That's that to me. That's just fucking badass. I saw something. Sh 
you may experience problems that would not normally occur. <laughs> she like fucking glitches out like. <laughs> That's that would just be the icing on the cake. She just glitches out and it like explodes right there. All right, new save state. Let's keep it moving. Wait, save to memory card. Make sure we're saving. Ah, that's the problem. It's not saving state. There we go, save state. You have to be clicked on. That's the problem. You have to be clicked on the emulator to save state. Classic emulator bullshit. Oh, dude, who needs that button? Not me. Okay, um, I did struggle with going through these before, so... Well, I, I saved state earlier. Let's see what happens. Okay, we're good. Dude, Sunseed Chuggers, where are you at? Our son. <laughs> <laughs> Have some of these gems. Definitely want to try to get as many gems as possible here. If I need to start cheating, like, to get, like, gems and eggs later, I, I'll do that if this playthrough gets, like, to be pretty long and, you know, whatnot. But for now, we're going to keep it legit. Collect the gems and eggs normally. Well, that's the strat. You can just short hop. Oh, wait. Yeah, you short hop after landing because you still have downward momentum. If you do like a one frame short hop, it doesn't give you the full height. It like actually is a proper short hop. Yeah, it needs to be a one frame. <laughs> this will treat. This will really teach me to do one frame short hops because you'll really see the difference. Let's see. That's a two frame short hop. That's pretty cool, actually. What happens if you just walk into the sun? I'll show you. I have invincibility on, so I should just be able to stand on the lava. Oop. No, I see, that was a bad time to get a, a one-framer. No dream, thank you for the uh, sub. Oh, I can just touch him, by the way, just to make him go. Yeah, that's tight. hurt me. Even things that would hurt me like that. I got the fucking silver sparks to stop to stop it from happening. Now that's what I got. But yeah, just for you, Doge, I'll go walk into the fucking sun seat over there. No dream with the gift sub. Thank you so much for that. I don't know if I just shouted that out or not, but love you. Love you, no dream. Let's grab this uh, box over here, get these free gems. Oh, it looks like I do actually still, like, take the actual animation for damage, but... Yeah, pretty cool. This uh, room is a lot like Nasty Nork's room, actually, in Spiral 1. Because it doesn't have any collision on top. There's actually quite a few rooms like this across the Spyro series that are just, like, completely just open on top. And indeed, there's no invisible wall there or anything. You just go straight through it. I mean, that's true for even normal uh, roofs as well. I believe you can just jump through these. Oh, well, I, I stand corrected. <laughs> Anyways, let's get out of here. F2. I gotta make sure I press F2 a lot here for the save state. You can kind of see it behind the timer up there when I do it. Let's grab this egg. Oh, yeah. Guys, keep track of how many eggs we have, because once we start getting a little further into this game... The Rhinox must... Um, it's gonna start deleting eggs from our inventory, so we gotta watch out. Just walk in, dude. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> God. Dude, who would have loved this version as a kid? I feel like this version's so awesome. Just like, fuck it, I'm out. I don't need to abide by your rules. I see, actually, the fact that there's no enemy spawned up here shows me that the game is set to easy mode right now. Some of you guys may not know, but there's actually a passive difficulty um, mechanic in this game. And uh, if it's set to easy mode, that is if you've like died a lot early on or 
or whatnot, or if you die multiple times in a boss fight, it will become easier. Like the boss won't be as aggressive or enemies won't spawn, uh, things like that. It'll just be their gem there. So that's one example of an enemy that would be there otherwise. Same thing with, there would be a guy here as well. Instead, there's just a green gem in his place. I don't believe any other Spyro game has a passive difficulty setting like that. But Spyro 2 might for the boss fights, I'm not sure. Do I even read YouTube chat? Yeah, I'm, I, see, I see your chat right there. What's up, Kenobi? Thank you for the 99 cents. And K Rother with the 100 bits. Thank you. That was very scary. I think I just got something on YouTube. Uh, does it say on my chat? I think my uh, YouTube thing is a little broken. Let me let me grab the uh, thing so I can see. Kanabi, I believe that was the 99 cents actually, yep. Let me pull out the pop out chat one more time so I can see. But yeah, to that one guy that was whining in my chat. Yes, I do read the YouTube chat. Specialist. You don't, no need to cry, specialist. I'm right here. It's okay. I know, I know you might need your diaper changed, I understand, but no, I, I am reading your messages. Not all of them, though. Alright, let's roll. Yes, I know that you guys exist. I don't. I, I want to be super clear about this because it seemed like, like Specialist is confused about this. I'm not going to catch every chat. Like, when I'm playing the game, my eyes are look- You have to just, just think about this logically. When I'm playing the game, I'm looking at the game. You know what I'm saying? And then when I'm like doing this, I'm looking at the chat. So if you're typing something and I'm not doing this to look over, or if I don't hear an alert and look over here like this, then you can be rest assured that I'm probably not reading your chat. But, you know, that's because I'm a fucking human, okay? <laughs> Bitch. All right? I'm trying. Cut me a break. Have you guys ever tried multitasking while playing a video game? That's basically what this is. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry, I'm sorry, no. <laughs> no, you're good. I'm, I'm just joking around. I'm just pulling your leg, especially. No hard feelings. I'm back in black, dude. That, that is actually very clever. I'll give you that. I'm usually not a fan of... Of silly play on words like that, but I'll give you this one. I'll let you live this time, Laura. Okay, is there any more eggs sitting around here? I think we got everything, right? We'll just kill all these enemies here for the for the juicy gems. Oop. I gotta like really time my charging out of the air so I don't double jump by accident. Also, I need to I need to remember to like get good at my uh my single frame short hops. I need to figure out how to do it. Like, maybe I could do like a... Yeah, I gotta do like a slide off with my thumb to get him. Isn't this dope? You can like really practice like... Cause I feel like in the vanilla game, you don't really get to see like really clearly the difference between a one or a two frame X press. But here it's really obvious like that. These are two frames. Oh my God, give me the one frame. Give me the one frame. There we go, there's the one frame. It's hard to do. Even though it's only a 30 FPS game, it's still pretty challenging to just only press a button for one frame. Then immediately let go of it. All right, that should be everything here. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Had to hit a quick, quick save over here. Click on the game one more time. Saved, exit. All right, how many uh, eggs do we have right now? Oh, okay, so actually, even though the game- yeah, I think I've- I've read that before on the Discord. Yeah, you're right about that, Lorica. Lorica. <laughs> Lorica. <laughs> you're right about that. So it is still a 1 in 50th uh, input poll. 1 in 60th input poll. Interesting. What's up, Luke? And thank you for the uh, 99 cents, uh, Christian. 
or Critian, Critian, that cave over Critten. there. Let's go check it <laughs> Good out. Name. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. Lor Lorica. <laughs> Do I? No, absolutely not, Kanabi. I will say it's like I am still playing the games, but not like in a way that's really meaningfully like helping me speedrun wise. I will say this is probably better than. Where did he, where did he go? Did he disappear? Oh, there he is. Oh, I. <laughs> I think he like fell through the floor or some shit. What's up, Rico? How you doing? Rico, you're going to be excited to know I'm planning on playing Toy Story 2 later tonight. Uh, but I haven't updated the schedule to reflect, uh... <laughs> this is all fucked. There we go. <laughs> Just stay flying. Um... I am planning on doing it... I'm, I'm going to update the schedule right now while I'm thinking about it. Um, I'm planning on doing Spyro 1... Um... What's it called? Spyro 1 Crowd Control after this playthrough. Spyro 3 Anti-Piracy, and Spyro 1 Crowd Control. I'll also play some N64 later on as I will. Okay, cool. Schedule updated to reflect what I'm currently doing. Anyways, um, well, I was about to go for the swim in air, but something tells me it's not exactly necessary. Let me go ahead and, um, save state. Okay. And now, whoops, let's not go in here. Let's go to Sheila from Out of Bounds. I actually might want to swim in air just so I have better control. Oops. Oh, let's grab this. I didn't even grab this so I get the start. Can't stay, gonna rewatch later. Thanks for hanging out, Kim, for the moment. Love you. Kim is the first honorary YouTube mod, by the way. That's not all, also modded on Twitch. And there's, there's the game crash. Good thing I saved. There's the fucking game crash. Boom, easy. That's why we're saving, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. First, get, first real, well, I guess this is my second real game crash so far. Oh, that barely missed. Oop. Hold on. We gotta we gotta get the hole in one here. Oh, let's get this egg again. Isn't there like a gold gem here somewhere? Okay, hold on, pause, save state. Okay. Oop. There we go. Nice. We and Sheila. And that we should be playing as Spyro here as well. That's one of the cheats I activated. The speed does not apply to swim. So if I swim in air, it's just normal swim in air. Thanks again, Spyro. So uh, actually, uh, what's it called? Um, seashell Shore should be pretty uh, pretty normal. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Sheila. I'm not Sheila. <laughs> Dude, where's Rico? My name's not Rick. <laughs> Dude, nice. I don't even have to head bash it. That's so satisfying. There's actually a lot of gems in this level, so I'm going to try to go out of my way to grab some. Really clean up this level nicely. Ooh, I'm starting to get good at these jumps here. Who would have thought that the moon jump code would actually be really useful in the Sheila levels? Hi, Yoshi. Wait, can I just walk into them? Nice. Again, I have the cheat code active that everything that touches Spyro breaks or dies. This is how we fight the anti-piracy, guys. You gotta fight fire with fire. I'm not... I'm not a cheater if the developers are, you know what I'm saying? It's... it's all is... all is fair. 
This is like oddly satisfying. Just walking into shit and blowing it up. Hey, Sheila. <laughs> yeah, basically, Gemsy, I have a moon jump cheat code on. Moon jump and hyperspeed, basically. Can I break these automatically? No, I wish. You have to touch the top of them, that makes sense. Oops. There we go. Perfect. God, I wish that I wish this level was this easy in the normal or I mean at least this smooth in the normal game. So much stopping and ground pounding at this part when you're actually playing as Sheila. I don't know why, I just get the feeling I might need some lives. I don't know if the anti-piracy thing takes away your lives or not. We'll find out. Billy. Hey, here's Billy. Thanks Hi, Billy. Oh no, this is Bobby. Fake. Fucking fake Billy over here. Trying to look like my love, Billy. You wish. Um... Up here. Really trying to get as many gems as I can here. So I've been skipping over some of the mini game areas, so I kinda need this. Alright, we're good. So hit a safe state while I'm thinking about it. There we go. Let's see, have I missed any uh subs or anything? I think I'm good. Just looking over at everything. Cool. Well, yeah, so I was going to be sub-going for the, uh... <laughs> for the Spyro 1 crowd control, but... We got a 100 gift bomb, so now I don't know whether I should or shouldn't at this point. <laughs> I feel like it would be greedy of me to just raise the sub goal for it, right? It said 399. Yeah, I probably missed like a couple gems. It's okay. I don't need every single one. This isn't like 117% or anything. The goal of this playthrough is to just beat the sorceress. Which might not even be possible. There's definitely a, a mechanic where... Where during the sorceress fight, you'll get teleported back to Sunrise Springs with all the save data cleared. So I'm gonna make sure, you know, gotta keep these save states going. Like, save, save, save. The shark, yeah, the shark won uh, yesterday, P. Hey, um, I think it would have been doable if not for all of the ladder climbing requirement in Magma Cone. Um, I even tried doing some out of bounds glitches and stuff, and none of it was really looking doable. It's technically possible if you're a god at Spyro Reignited 2 speedrunning. I will say that. So I recommend it if you're a Spyro Reignited 2 speedrunner and you're used to the crazy mechanics and um, or the crazy strats in Magma Cone like in any percent for example, then you might have a shot at, at uh, beating the shark mod in that case. But without those types of skills under your belt. Like I had to learn how to do like fast climbing and like all that shit, and even then, it was like, I can't do this. And believe me, when I say I can't do this, that, that came after many hours of attempts, you know? But yeah, I think I think you're right, dude of Kitty. I might uh, do a Spiral 1 Shark Run, because it applies to all three games, the Shark mod. So I might as well do it, try it in Spiral 1. I think that'd be fun. Maybe for a future video. I think I'll make a, a, a story time video, I think, about each of these mods that I'm playing through. As, like, kind of a recap, like, short form, like, kind of explanation, 10 minute, like, explanation of, like, what happened and key moments and whatnot. And then I'll kind of assess the reception of those videos to see, like, what I want to do again or what I want to ex expand upon. Just grabbing, like I said, just grabbing as many gems as I can here. 
Let's just go up here. Here, take. <laughs> Your drowsiness won over the anxiety. Yeah, the lurks were strong, though, I will say. For me, just hitting the ladder over and over. I think over the entire time that I was in Magma Cone, I went from like 190 to like 130 viewers. Like, people just gradually were like, I'm falling asleep. Like, I can't handle this. <laughs> All right. It was funny. Hello, Spyro. Hello, Spyro. So, can I grab these with, uh, with Spyro? I don't think so. This might not be. <laughs> Wait. I can push them around. What? Oh, that's so weird. They turn with you. Damn. Oh, what the fuck? You doing the stanky leg? Oh, hold on. can I spin? Yeah. Oh shit. Bangers. Yo, where's Grape? <laughs> Game crash. Load. Uh oh. The full emulator crash. Epic. It's okay, we have the save state there. Dude, that was tight. First emulator crash of the run. That's pretty cool. Let's open that back up. It's okay, we got the save state. Uh, start BIOS. Start file. Spyro. Wait, or can I just, like, load it right away? Does this work? No, I have to, like, load up the ROM. Uh, it's in Spyro, DJ Mod, Anti-Piracy, V1.1. Now I should be able to load it. There we go. We're back. Uh, I'm not doing Sergeant Bird. But he was dancing with the fucking Tiki for a sec. You guys saw it. As you can imagine, some of the character side levels are, you know, gonna be very, very sketchy when you're playing as Spyro on them. Like, crashes abound and everywhere. Oh, I should've just gone in from the back. I did not need to pay money, but hold on. Fuck you, money bags. I'm not paying your shit. You little cocksucker. Fuck you, dude. Hold on. Give me, give me out and around here. Just call me Nitrovsky Jr. with this one. Here we go. Perfect. Easy. Easy money. Are you the dragon? Are you the dragon? No. What's up, Undy? <laughs> you like this? Yeah, who's who's digging this mod right now? Or this, I guess, cheated official playthrough. I'm just gonna chase him down, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Can't stop me. Who needs supercharge, bro? Not me. I, I'm not sure if the supercharge speed is gonna... Uh-oh. Talk to him? Pause. I'm in a loop. I'm getting thrown for a loop. <laughs> I like how sometimes he bounces up. Just get way out of there. Press nothing. That's weird. I wonder why this is happening. Load the save state one more time. I'll try that, that uh, sequence one more time. If it keeps doing that, then I'll just move on. Gosh, it's like cheating the game, like, makes it unstable or something. Bullshit. Hold well, on, let me just try talking to him once, see if that does anything. Are you the dragon? Or wait, I, that's what I did last time. Okay, there's Moira. Am I fucked? Yeah, it's an infinite loop. So I cannot grab those eggs, unfortunately. That's okay. We're gonna move on here and finish the level. Grab a few of these. I think I grabbed the uh, key, so let's do that. <laughs> that walk. It <laughs> was a good walk. Start out here, marathon walker. Let's kill the rest of these guys. Grab this little gem over here. All right, that should be good for now. Go ahead and save state and get out of here. Last level we need to do before we can move on from Sunrise is going to be uh, Seashell Shore. I'm not sure if the speedways are going to be different. We'll see. Give me the blue. 
Oh, let me see if the speedway's open. It might not be. I might not have enough eggs yet. Yeah, no, I don't. Cyclone with 15 gifts. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Give you a band starting with O. Yeah, Opeth. Yeah, that's what I thought originally as well. O Beatles. <laughs> how about the how about the the O Rolling Stones? The Oling Stones. Delete a letter. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Oh yeah, but damn, he pushed me in. That was tight. Yeah, let's set another safe state. I might want to start making separate save uh, save state files here. Now that I'm here, I'll make a new file. Um, yeah, there it is. Um, I'll make it. I'll make it over this one. Save there. And then we'll start we'll start a new file here. God. <laughs> Look at that guy. Dude, I never noticed this guy. He's like his head is stuck here. <laughs> you guys ever catch that guy? He's like, help me! <laughs> Yeah, because they fucking run away like the moment you get close. One with E. Listen, man, this isn't fucking Alex. This isn't 20 questions with Alex Trebek. Ask me a million random band names, all right? I'm done helping you in your in your quest. But the chat can help you if they want. Dude, it will not erase my save states. Uh, let, let's be very clear about how it works. It will erase the save file. It will erase eggs. It might erase gems and it might erase lives. I don't know about those last two. But save states are part of the emulator. Like, you gotta remember, this game was made in 2000. This emulator did not exist back then. You're saying it's gonna erase the function of the emulator? No, it won't. So that's why I'm being very careful to save state everywhere. Save state is like a function of an emulator, whereas save files are like the, the memory card. It does delete the memory card, save files though. Just so we're all on the same page here. If you want to Yeah, I know, they fucking they patched it. They patched it so it doesn't work on emulator. Imagine, that'd be next level anti-piracy. Die, bitch. You have to like walk into them to like really get the effect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Dude, check this out. Just fucking jump up here, no problem. Who needs a proxy, not me. Wait, I can just walk into these, right? Yeah, strats. Doing pretty good on the gem count here. Okay, yeah, you wish, bro. You fucking wish. Okay, we got the Sheila level right here, so I'm gonna save state right about now. Cool. Oh, hi, Spyro. Oh, hi. Never to be seen again, Sheila. She's in my basement. We got Jared. <laughs> Speaking of keep, keeping people in your basement. <laughs> Alright, that was dark, that was dark. Wait! Oh, the collision is still there for it. Oh, that's wild. Huh. I wonder if that's gonna apply to the other ones as well. It might. Damn, this is so sick. Just destroy all of them. Oh my god. Oh, come on. There we go. Beauty. Love it. Oh, yes. Yes. Always wanted to do that. I didn't realize I always wanted to do that until right now. Yeah, you can see the collision is still there for some of them. <laughs> wow. Oh, 
But yeah, no, to, to your point, undies, I do have to be careful about my save state usage because if, if it's like deleted some of my data and I don't realize it and I make a save state, then I'll have saved the deleted data. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta be, I gotta be on top of it. That's why I'm trying to make like multiple files of it. That should be everything there. But so far, I don't think that's happening. We're still pretty early on in the game. 19 gems, 1571. Whoops. I just said right there. So let's make another save state. Oh yeah, the swim speed is upgraded actually. I thought it wasn't, but it totally is. This is, dude, this is dope. Fuck him up. Skill point, where you at? Okay, no skill point for me, whatever. Completely unskilled gameplay here, let's be honest. Yeah, keep an eye on the eggs, please. Do not let me save state with delete. Well, if, look, if, if eggs get deleted and I save state over it, you know, worst case scenario, I can just add eggs back into my inventory with cheats if I really have to. That's not the end of the world. Oh god, this is gonna be kind of hard, actually. Okay, it slowed me down, actually. It started fast, but then I slowed down, thank god. Yeah, I know, that speed feels slow. Normally in the game, that feels super fast, right? Now that's like, okay, thank God it's slow here. <laughs> right. Okay, let's exit area. And then save state once I'm out. Okay. Room. All right, that works. Bluto the Rhinog, dude, fuck Bluto the Rhinog. That guy fucking killed my playthrough yesterday. I wonder if this is going to be faster. Uh, no, it's not. This is just normal, which is good for the sake of... Uh-oh. What's that, though? This is going to be kind of a sketchy fight. What? Oh, because I touched him! That's the first time Bluto has ever lost! Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I want to go back, I want to go back and try this, hold on. I'm going to go back and try that fight one more time, except I'm just going to walk straight into him. I don't- I don't even want to talk to the guy here, can I- Can I get it? Okay, hold on. Damn. Ballin'. Wow, Just ballin'. The first time. <laughs> that was tight. Uno reverse card that bitch. Pure revenge on the fuck- That was for the shark playthrough yesterday, Bluto. Fuck you. I don't want these guys. I don't got anything good. Any good gems over here? Oh. Right, get me out of here. That was tight. Yeah, vindicated revenge. Room. Give me this blue right here. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying this playthrough so far. Oh, I Even though it's super janky and silly and crap and like unstable, I, it's fun. There are definitely some satisfying moments about this type of run. Okay, we got all the eggs miraculously. Let's uh, save real quick and get out of here. How many gems do I need? I don't know. I mean, what actual required money bags payments are there for me here? Not probably not many, because I can do most of them like through out of bounds and stuff. So I might not really even need any gems. I'm just collecting them. It's just in my blood. Here's Zo again. Fucking copy protection Zo over there. Should be everything, right? Okay, so let's save here, because now things might start getting sketchy. Let's check the let's check the egg count. 22, 1656. Usually during these boss fights, balloon transitions is when things start to get kind of fucky. I want to repay. Wait, am I missing someone? Who am I missing? Yeah. 
Yeah, Sheila's not there, is she? Yeah, let's go get Sheila. I guess I didn't, like, trigger the Sheila thing. Let me, first of all, let me pay- Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright. Let's, um, let's pay money bags. Here. We have enough gems to do so. Spyro! And then I guess I'll go back through the Sheila level again and activate- I guess I didn't activate the egg at the uh, end, maybe? <laughs> I hope you- I thought I did, though. Maybe that egg got swooped, maybe. Who knows? I definitely did talk to Bo uh, Bobby, remember, at the end? He's the guy that completes Sheila. But, uh, we'll, we'll just try it again real quick. Oh, it was tr okay. That was the first like actual triggering of the oh first anti-piracy moment Interesting. Let's a uh, f2 safe stay here. Let's keep it moving And minus 300 oh well, that's that was from money bags Wait, I have to do the whole level again. I think We have to kill the guys Where is he? And again, like, if it really locks me out of going to the next place, I'll, I'll just put the egg in my inventory or whatever it needs to be to unlock the next area. But I need to talk to- you have to talk to these guys in order, in order to do this level. You don't have to talk to them? Really? I'm gonna do it anyways, just to be thorough. Maybe it's not necessary, but, you know, I live for being unnecessary. Did I finish the Fat Spyro mod? Uh, no, I, I tried my best, but I got stuck in Magma Cone for like two, three hours at least. I just couldn't climb up all the ladders required to get the Talisman, and thus I could not get to Gulp. Keep in mind, it is reignited, so there was no like Gulp skip or anything. What's up, Skyr? Just redoing the Sheila level because the anti-piracy took away the egg for it. Pretty epic stuff. Thanks for the help. Oh yeah, I was talking about the shark one. Yeah, you were talking about the one where he gets heavier. I did beat that one. The spiral one, but he, he gets uh, heavier with every gem. Alright, now we're finally getting this egg back. First egg we've had to retrieve after already getting it once. See what happens. I probably should have saved right there. I'll save right here. Let's head on. All right, cool. The balloons all ready. Balloons all ready. Totally nothing weird about that. <laughs> I didn't have to do Sheila twice or anything. Balloons all ready. Let's go. We're at twenty-three eggs right now. Yeah, keep an eye on the egg counter. Listen carefully, you s You slut. <laughs> Can't help myself. <laughs> Takes one to know one, you know? <laughs> uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, thanks again for the 15 subs earlier, when Cyclone, and the 100 well. subs from Rousio. Love both of you guys. Super generous. Well, I was gonna see if him touching me, like, did anything. Yeah, I guess I can do this. I think I just have to do the fight normally. Oops. Oh, this is not gonna work. <laughs> Wait a minute. I have an idea. Can I just... Hold on. Nope. I can't do that. Okay. I'm trying to cheese the fight, but it's not letting me. Okay, go like no, it, it's hard to actually get to the right spot here. Okay, there we go. Okay. Be 
GG. Wait, was that the last hit? No, hold on, I think there's one more. No, that's it. GG. Gulper's in the chat. Or what is it? What's this? I keep saying gulp, uh, buzz. Buzzer's in the chat. Okay, we're at 24. Let's see if it takes me to midday gardens. Let's see what happens here. I'm not gonna save state quite yet. Okay, it looks like we are going to midday gardens. If we can even make it to midnight mountain, that'd be that'd be powerful. Usually, I think it's the balloon to evening lake that things start to get like kind of fucky. Okay, dragon. CC and Mike, thank you for the resub. You could sure go for some turtle soup, though, I don't know. Just a little quick endangered meal. No big deal. Have a have a little side of a Bluto cake afterwards. All the, I'll get all the endangered animals in there that are fucking annoying in Spyro speedruns. Yeah, Spyro was- <laughs> Spyro spent too much time in Dragon Shores. They burned him to a crisp, that son. Wear, wear SPF 50 next time, dude. Let's grab that thief just for the hell of it. But let me save also. Die, bitch. You can get away from me. Dude, who struggled with that thief as a kid? I know I did. Try to go to... Wow, I perfectly hit that. That is not easy to do, by the way. That loading zone is like a pixel wide. You have to perfectly hit it. Let's see if I don't get fucked here. I have to train Wait, let's see if it actually lets me complete this. If it doesn't, that's going to be a problem. So. Because this needs to be completed in order to exit Midday Gardens. <laughs> Looks like it's doable, though. Yeah, if I can free the birds, then I should be fine. Grab some extra gems here. There are quite a bit of gems here, so I'll grab some. I, you know, I, I really don't gotta worry about gems in all honesty. Dude, can I just jump through the roof here? No. No, of course not. It's a, like, Sergeant Bird can fly too. What am I thinking? The gold. I just can't resist the urge to collect juicy gems. Oops. Come on, can I just break this immediately? Yes! <laughs> I can just clip right through it. Sweet, I don't have to come back there later. Immaculate routing. I'm ready to be I am ready to be penetrated. Oh my god. Do the anti-piracy things occur at random? As far as I understand, yes. But there are some things that do trigger it as well, like um, like balloon rides and boss fights, especially as you get later into the game. Oh man, my head is already starting to hurt a bit. I need to take some ibuprofen. Oh yeah, crack my neck. Oh, it's just like, oh my god, it's just like in the other Sergeant Bird level. He's dancing with me. Let's dance. <laughs> oh wait, I might be fucked here actually. Hold on, because I can't pick that thing up. So I can't open the- oh. That was a good- don't take damage in a Sergeant Bird level, I forgot. Let's load back to here. Oh, it's a full emulator crash, just like last time. So this is gonna be interesting, I'm wondering if I can actually, uh... Because that hummingbird needs to make it to the end, so what I might need to do is actually just play as Sergeant Bird. Because I can't make those, um, those weights open the door for the bird to go through, so... I'm gonna- before I open this up, I'm going to, uh, turn off that cheat. Uh, well, hold on, I have to load up the game first, I guess. Start BIOS. Change disk from file. Cheat. 
cheat manager. So let's turn off the Spyro in non-Spyro levels cheat. Let's see if that does anything. And let's load the save state. Oh, not that one. There we go, this one. Okay. Now right, we're chilling. Let's go back to Sergeant Bird again. Let's see if I can make it back in from out of bounds this time. Ooh, nope. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> I might just pay money bags. That was definitely a fluke the first time I got that. Ah, my. So hopefully, this cutscene isn't borked. So let's put it in full screen as well. Don't make me horny with the PlayStation intro. <laughs> So what are we at? Three, three or four game crashes so far? Two hard emulator crashes? <laughs> we're barely in midday gardens. I'd say we're making good progress. Alright, let's see if it actually lets me play a Sergeant Bird here. I have to train up. It might not, we'll see. No, this is bad. Okay, um... I might need to fully close the game and like reload it from the save file. That might be what I need to do. So let's go back to here. And um, because some cheats, you have to do that. I think this one with uh, Spyro being in the other levels is like that. So let me uh, put it in this mode. System power off uh, without saving. And let's just let's just load the game normally. So let's make sure the the cheats are off. So we're just gonna load the game, and instead of loading the save state, we're gonna load the um, the memory card save. Start BIOS from file v1.1. Ten cheats. That means we don't have the other one enabled. I'm just making sure. Cheats manager. Uh, yeah, it's not enabled. Okay, I will fast forward a little bit here. Okay. Now let's load the save file, so this way it's like... ...not loading the save state with the other cheat already enabled. Load game. This, this, this should be in Midday Gardens, I would hope. Yeah. I have to train the hunt. Let's see if this works. Yes, we, we, we did it. We used facts and logic to outsmart the fucking shit here. We're good. We are good. So now we can still, we can still make progress now. Unfortunately, that does mean we have to play as Sergeant Bird. Which is a bit of a that is a that is a downgrade. <laughs> Being honest, it's like we can complete the game now, but at what cost? So, I've yeah, Sparks is a purple gem. That's like the the invincible Sparks cheat. Sir, the rhino. Okay, so now we can actually grab these things. Oh, come on! Now we can actually grab these things and rest the level. Today's Chinese New Year's. Hey, Happy New Year, China. You're the dragon, dude. Spiral 4 confirmed. Am I right, guys? Toys for Bob got laid off. Spiral 4 confirmed. Happy New Year. China says thanks. Appreciate it. Hey, China, remember to sub at the subathon. <laughs> Grab this one right now. I'm not even worried about 100%ing this level anymore. I don't even care. 
Oh wait, I do have to grab the uh, bomb and head back. Let me do that real quick and then I'll come back over this way. Or you know what I'll do? I'll, I'll finish this one while I'm here. And then I'll go back the other way. Wait, technically I don't need to do this whole thing, but I, you know, whatever. Who cares? This is actually not part of the end of level egg. There's like two different eggs here. I'll just get the extra egg, why not? Get to kill this guy. Already rescued her. Mission accomplished. And I'll go grab the egg by going back through. Someone gift a sub to China. <laughs> the New Year's, dude. Somebody do it. I love not having to collect stuff right now. That's a very, uh... That makes these levels a lot more manageable. Hydromaniac with the bits. For China. K. Rother with a gift to China Coxina. <laughs> Thank you. Let me move that thing so it's not over my face. Alerts. Okay. Exit level. Um, yeah. We did everything, right? We're good? Exit level. Do 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 Oh yeah, we don't have the super speed mod anymore. Which is fine. I'm I'm okay with turning it off for now. We can turn it back on whenever we want. For now let's enjoy it super speed super speedless. When you see a ladder Shut the fuck up. Who needs a fucking ladder, dude? Are you serious? When you see a ladder, bro, fucking grow up. <laughs> Get on my level, man. Fucking pussy. Oh, I saved the memory card, but let's do a save state as well. There we go. I don't need to light these fuckers, man. Get me out of here. This is what I'm talking about. So first of all, let's get the end of level thingy here. You are brave. I'm definitely not going to the Sheila minigame, I'll tell you that right now. I might do the, the sleepyhead one, though. Well, let's definitely grab this. Grabbing all the eggs I can find. Oop. Yeah, I'm gonna try just walking up to sleepyhead and just standing on him. See if that does anything. Let's grab some gems for the fuck of it. <laughs> fucking flying up in the air. Ow! I wonder if I can uh, break the key chest. Without the key. No, you can't. Not even with super damage. Alright, let's go to Sleepyhead. Alright, see if this works. Oh, no it doesn't. He does a little floppa. You need to use the uh, bomb, I guess. Boing. Fucking reused animation from Dark Hollow, by the way. At least I can walk into these guys. No, I can't even. Dude, the Sleepyhead's OP. You were locked out of this during your playthrough of Spooky's. What are you? What are the requirements supposed to be to unlock this? I think it's to you light the um, 
You light the candles in order to open this, I believe. But in the speedrun, you can just go from out of bounds. Oop, I was facing the wrong way there. Sleepyhead's actually harder than normal, I would say, because I can't, like, really be charging too much. Smoke his ass, yeah. Slip's not true, true. Yeah, Spooky Swamp is actually, it's one of those levels that's, like, actually really long if it's your first time playing it. Because you're like, okay, wait, the, how do I, you know, I gotta unlock the door and find the key and... You know, and light all the things, and you know, the Sheila minigame and all this. It's like a pretty long level, casually, I would say, but... Um, if you know, like, the sequence breaks and stuff, it's it's extremely simplified level. Ooh! The Sheila egg has been removed again. As we can tell by Sheila not being unlocked here. Which, this is a rare door, by the way. Normally, at this point in the game, you would have to have Sheila unlocked. You don't normally see a door like this. It's pretty crazy, huh? Bye, Sheila. So yeah, if I absolutely need to, I'll add the Sheila egg back into the inventory if I, like, have to do it for something, but we don't have to yet. What we do have to do is break these just for funsies. See the atlas? Yeah, sure. I'll, we'll, we'll prove that theory in the atlas right now. Um... Can we go back to here? Midday, Sunrise Springs, um, Sunny, what, what would it be? Uh, Sheila's Alp. Help, yeah, and that's the egg to unlock Sheila right there. Help Bobby get, which we had to get twice, by the way, and it's got removed again. That's our first example of anti-piracy, removing eggs from the inventory, is the Sheila egg. <laughs> Okay, well, that's pretty much everything I wanted here. Let's get out of here. Oh, is the egg count still the same? It's just removing the eggs, but the egg count still says this, the fucking right thing. That's funny. But yeah, that's pretty cool that, yeah, that that door exists at all. Because again, in theory, that door should never have to, you know, exist. Yeah, at this point in the game, Sheila would always be unlocked. It goes to show kind of the lengths that the developers went through to implement fail-safe mechanics. Yeah, gems disappeared too. That's why this is not going to be like a 117% run. A, because that would take fucking forever, and B, because, uh, like, it's going to just remove gems and stuff anyways. It's, it's basically impossible to 117% this. Uh, let's set a save state. Let's roll. Peace, everybody. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> here, let's do the auto scroller just for funsies. Just as a nice change of pace here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna not do the auto scroller. I'm going to uh, jump out of bounds here. Oh fuck! Hold on. Please Go back. Help us, Spyro. My friend. Hold on. Can I say no? Okay. Okay. He's gonna like walk all the way out. Right. Okay. I gotta do it like this. Oop. Dude, hold on. Okay, there we go. Nice. Alright. So now what I gotta do is flame the guys from out of bounds here. Which I'm missing all of them. Maybe I have to hit the ones below first in order for the ones out of bounds to trigger. I think that might be how it works. Ooh! Fucked up there. Let's try that again. I should just do the auto-scroller, but I'm just curious about doing this with, like, super jump. Just to see, like, where exactly they are. Oop. Wait a minute. Damn it! I didn't mean to hit them! Try this again. If I can't figure this out, like, within the next few minutes, I will. Uh, switch it up. Kill all these guys first. Oh, 
Okay, now I believe I can kill the ones up above here. We should hear them die. Where are they? Normally the strat here, if you get this trick to like get into this area early, you're supposed to do something like this. Like head over here, and then go here, and then like aim at very specific spots. Whoops. Fucked it up already. Don't run out of super flame. Like aim like right here. Oh yeah, you can hear them dying now. Yep. It's actually easier to do it this way than to try to like fly over to them. You know what, I'm just gonna do the auto-scroller for the rest of it. Because I don't remember how to do this strat exactly. Oh, no, I'm out of the super flame. No, I can't complete it, I'm gonna fail. Oh shit. I should have collected the super flame. Oh Jesus. Fuck, I gotta do it again. Oh man. I can't even- Alright, let's exit area. I'll come back here later. Let's let's come back here in a bit. I've, I've, I've shamed my family with that one. Let's uh... Just keep it moving here. Let's at least uh, collect this one down here. Oop. That was the soft lock right there, actually. Good thing I died, actually. It took away. It takes away control if you go too low there, and you can get a soft lock that way. But I'll just do the swim in air just to make it more consistent for me. Yeah, I dishonored my family on Chinese New Year, dude. What am I gonna do? We would be. Oh, the emer Yeah, I'm tempted to turn the speed back up in this level. I might do it. What are you guys saying? Turn the speed back up? I'm doing it. Um... Is it, oh, it's over here. Oh, let me save state. Uh, can I save the memory card as well at this point? Does it let me do that? Not save state, but like, memory card save. I think I'd have to do that like, in the pause menu, right? Or it's- it's like an auto save- or save game, boom. Save game. Chillin'. That way I can come back to this point, you know, later. Hopefully, if it doesn't- it, it might delete- again, part of the anti-piracy is it might delete that, so... Let's set a- let's just set like a separate save file here. Just for future proofing pr purposes. I'll put it over the Seashell Shore one. Upload, we want to save. There. Okay, sweet. Um, Alright. Uh, now, uh, let's turn on the super speed. This is one of those that I'd have to fully restart everything to... to turn off. Uh, yeah, this one, speed 50 is the one I want to do. Alright. We're flying. Now, where's that fucking thief at, huh? Where's that little pussy? Oh, no, we already got the thief, actually, because by grabbing the egg out of bounds there. But what I will do is grab this egg over here. And maybe do the auto scroll. Actually, I don't even feel like doing the auto scroller, to be honest with you. But I probably should, just so I have more eggs. Eh, I'll do the auto scroller, why not? And then we'll get out of here. Where is Tony? He died, bro. We fucking banned that bitch. Please help us. You were punched yesterday. You're sat. Oh. Okay, we're good. I got a little scared there. Let me see a beautiful stream in the world. Crash Bandicoot TKS, dude. Let's fucking go. I'm sorry to hear you got punched yesterday. I hope you're 
You feeling okay? God fucking panda. I can't even do the auto scroller. I can't I'm do bam sure balls you... list. I can't do the fucking auto scroll. I can't do shit out here, dude. Yeah, bam, no balls, dude. I gotta relearn the bamboo list. Is that, is that what it's called, bamboo list? Laura knows all the names. I just. I just do them and be like, this is the past strat. <laughs> That's like how I am. This is the Wally strat. This is the. Just because I just name it after whatever the person I learned it from. Even though there's like actual names for it. Keep, I'm like not, not even shooting the ones above either. I gotta la learn if I when I come back to this category, I gotta learn bamboo list again, and then I gotta learn the uh, the proper auto scroller strats again. They're just easy to forget if you don't practice them. I'm hit this one like here, I think. Oh yeah, I'm fucking this up. Please hit him. Okay. Perfect. Please take this. How many frames does Spyro's initial swim charge acceleration last for? Dog, do, do I look like a scientist to you? Do I look like I have the biz hawk with all of the RAM addresses here? Dog, I have no fucking idea. That is a question for the Spyro speedrunning discord. There is certainly a nerd in there that can answer that question for you. Is that the right answer? 16.385? I don't know. No, right? I thought that was just a random ass. <laughs> Did it say that in the chat? I received a bajillion messages. <laughs> just had it up forever. Get me out of this fucking level. Dude, I'm g I've been waiting for- dude, I'm gonna DM the guy that was making, like, the new- There was a guy that fucking reached out to me. Legend, by the way, he's like, dude, I'm gonna make you a whole new chat client. Like, I'm like, hell yeah, dude, I'll pay you for that, go for it. Like, cause the fucking restream chat is like, ass, dude. And there really isn't that many other good, like, chat options for both YouTube and Twitch. I'm gonna fucking DM that guy, see how it's going. He hasn't, like, re like, said anything to me in, like, a week. I mean, no pressure on him or anything, just... Volens with the resub, thank you. Appreciate that, man. Legend. Volens with five, by the way. Uh, pardon me. With a five subs. Fucking legend, Volens. Fucking chuggers in the chat. Any updates on this? Yeah, no pressure to him. I don't know if that guy's watching or not, but yeah, no pressure or anything. Just, just curious. I'm definitely, I'm definitely hoping that he actually does make it. Because yeah, restream chat is ass. I can't turn off that message that says like, you've received a thousand messages today. Like a little trophy, like, okay, cool. Oh, what, a, what an accomplishment. And bullets, of course, with the resub as well, legend. Since I'm not completing the game, well, I'm gonna try to complete the game. I'll try the Sorceress 50 times if I have to, before concluding that it's not possible. Every final egg of every... D d dude, I'm aware of this, Aju. Like, look, you're, you're not considering how prepared I am here. I have a whole list of cheats here, Aju. I'll have you know. I'll have a whole list of cheats here that include every egg for every level. So if I'm in a situation where like, fuck, I just, I, it keeps deleting this egg. Fuck, I'll just click on the fucking, put the egg back in my inventory. We gotta fight fire with fire here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm not, I'm not about to let this game win right now. All right, I mean, maybe I will, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I think he might be cheating. <laughs> fucking Spyro flying at a million miles per hour. <laughs> Why do I have black nails? I don't see how that's a rude question. Uh, because they're pretty, don't you think? Even all chopped up. I got these done at uh, at AGD Cube a few weeks back. Shouts to Padges and to Panda, by the way, for picking up the slack with a few of those layers when uh, Padges was drunk. Uh, 
Uh, I need a pee. I've been chugging coffee like crazy, so I'll be right back in just a moment. Okay. Let's get back to it, shall we? Uh, what was I doing? You guys remember? Oh yeah, beating this fucking game. Yeah, the acoustic foam spiral is definitely my- it's definitely one of my better pieces of art out there, you know? It's a vibe. And let's not forget about the wall behind the fucking setup that says penis. <laughs> oh, and there's a happy face over here too, you guys didn't even get to see. The happy face. That's yeah, a pretty- pretty nice, uh, pretty good art, I would say. Acoustic foam art. The camera correct here. All right. So uh, what was I doing? You guys remember? Should I do the speedway? Let's let's try the speedway with super speed. We'll see if it, if it's any good. Turn off the BRB as well. Oh, let's save state. It's also hard save, or I'll hard save. It, it'll auto save when I go in the level. Cheating. Yes, I am. You can officially call me a cheater in the comments if you want, but if I'm cheating, then the developers are extra cheating. So, all's fair, I think. Average, well-adjusted adult's room. Yeah, I'd say so. I'd say average room of someone who doesn't take themselves too seriously. Damn, the supercharge is so fast. Hold well, on, I'm gonna kill these bitches. Oh fuck. I might I might fail this. Hold well, on, let's get these guys. No! This is actually really hard with the super speed. Golden spyro, please. Orange spyro. I can switch the color. Hey, every sub, if you want the color changed. Just sub or super chat, which by the way, Kim, thank you for the gifted membership. I just saw that right now. Um, sub or YouTube member, and I'll change the color. Oh, and speaking of which, here, let me finish this real quick, and then um, I'll add, um, I'll manually add the time from the gifted YouTube membership. I keep forgetting to do that. Because the timer is running a little bit, well, it's at 18 right now, it's, I guess it's not a big deal. I grab these. Oh my god, yeah, don't charge. Just finish it up. Oh, there's one more tractor somewhere. Where is he? There he is. Finish it up. Nice, is that everything? I think we're... Oh, we need to get the... No! Hold on! I'm insane for this! Three, two, one! Oh my god! That was such a sick recovery! <laughs> Sick. I wouldn't have made it otherwise. That was that was clutch. You gotta give me that. And you guys thought the super speed would fuck me up here. No, it saved me. Saved this level. Do I prefer Spyro 2 or 3 today? Um, I don't know. 3? <laughs> I'm not playing Spyro 2 today. They all say quit at the end. Isn't that weird? Race the biplanes quit? Isn't that odd? It's like a weird glitch. It's a weird anti-piracy. Maybe they tried to make it. This is my guess, is that they probably tried to make it so that, like, it makes you quit for all the options. But they failed to do so. That's my guess. No, oh, I barely hit it. Miracle. Oh, don't fucking jump too high now. Fuck. It, this race is tough, actually, to do with mostly supercharging. Okay. 
Okay. Nice. Oh my god, beautiful movement. Missed it. I'm learning. Hold on. I'm learning how to supercharge this race. Hold on. Give me a sec. Is it just an earlier build of the game? That's why it says quit at the end. I thought it was something more insidious. What's up, launchers? This is a cheat. This is me cheating in Spyro 3 to try to beat the anti-piracy build. Okay. Glide. Nice. Good glide there. Damn, look at this movement. This is actually satisfying. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay, you gotta... Gotta clutch it up here. We're good. This part you can't... You gotta be careful here. Nice. Let's play it safe here. About to hit the record time. Oop, fuck that up a little bit. Oop, that's fine. Oh my god, come on, hurry it up. Nice. Oh fuck. Hold on. Nice. Good recovery. Your brother recently came out to you as by Oh, I want to read the rest of this in a moment. I have a feeling this is going to be oddly wholesome. Okay, just play it safe, play it safe. No, this song is the same. Your brother recently came out to you as bi, and you hugged him and called him a bisexual player. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't understand. <laughs> That's tight. I'm, uh, that, I'm honored that you would call him that. That's a tr I believe that. I believe that is a true story. Um, I am not gonna do the- <laughs> Ray. <laughs> Raw. I'm not gonna do the Hunter minigame. I'm too lazy. Get me out of here. Something tells me I'm not gonna like manage to have enough eggs to casually beat the source. Like this is probably not gonna reach a hundred eggs this particular run. This is just kind of just casually running through and then probably just skipping into the sorceress at some point. Full disclosure. Hey, Spyro. Can I just do this? Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Easy. Easy money. <laughs> Raw. Kana Kitana, thank you for the good luck. Great to see you, Kana. I, I noticed you raided me last night while I was sleeping. Thank you for that. And now we're about to just skip past all of this shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just fly. Who cares? Give me the egg. Where are we going? Let's go to the end of the level first. Let's activate this shit. Dare I do skateboarding? I'll try skateboarding, just because it's crazy with the, uh, the speed upgrade. The world. What am I supposed to do here? There we go. Oops. I, like, forgot. Yeah, turn the volume up, dude. <laughs> nice and loud. I don't know why I grabbed that. All right, skateboarding time. Let me save real quick. <laughs> you start checking titles? No, I do the same thing. I'll just raid someone, and I'll just glance at their stream. I'll be like, oh, this looks interesting. I'm about to raid them, and it's like they're going offline, or they're like, they're pissed, and they didn't want to raid, or something like that. 
Yeah, my stream did go offline for like 20 minutes at the start of today. Um, but that was because it wasn't my fault. It was because Twitch automatically shuts off streams if they've been concurrently live for more than 48 hours. So I, I forgot about that. So, you know, I was just having breakfast and my stream was just off. I didn't even realize. But we're back. It's fine. Subathon still alive. Right, let's see if we can do this. It might not be possible. Michael, thank you for the gift. Appreciate it. Okay. No. Yeah, getting a raid when you're mad. Yeah, you know what that's like. That shit's just fucking so bad. I mean, it's not bad. It's not. It's not like, oh fuck, don't raid me if I'm mad. It's not like that. It's just kind of like, it, it like makes you shift gears mentally in a weird way. It's the only way I could describe it. Um, is this gonna work? My my fucked here. Can I even do the tutorial? Oh fuck, he's going too fast. <laughs> here we go. Room. Is that gonna work? Oh shit. It makes you lock in. <laughs> raid equals 30 more minutes of stream. No, I mean not in my case. Not if you have balls. I've gotten big raids and just been like, all right guys, I'm going offline anyways. Thanks for watching. Like. I don't, I don't believe that, like, I, here's my, from the other side of that story, is that if I raid someone and they were gonna go offline, I don't want them to feel like they should stay online just because there's more people there. I think that's kind of like a, ah, uh, like, I, I feel bad for that, you know? That's one of those things where I feel like people overvalue, like, what a raid is. People think that it's like, oh, you know, a hundred, like, say I have five viewers and I get a hundred person raid. Oh my god, I remember when Saboom first raided me, I'll never forget this. I was thinking, I, I was having, I was eating food in the other room and he raided me with like 130 people or something. It's like years and years ago. And I was like, oh shit, dude, I missed my big break. I remember thinking that. I missed my big chance to like really get some new viewers in here and you know really you know show them what I'm all about but I was BRB and not paying attention and oh man what a big mistake. I'm just gonna exit this area. Um, but it's not like that because even if you even if you are like fucking even if you get like a thousand person raid from distortion or GDQ or something and you're like, Mr. You're like fucking. You're right there, and you're like, guys, welcome. My name's Dale. I'm. I'm okay. I'm speed. I'm playing the Spyro Three piracy version. If you don't know what that is, you know, go full commentary mode. You know, maybe you'll get a couple people that are interested by that, but it's still going to be the same rate of people just that are just AFK that are leaving. That you know, they're not your viewers. You know, they're just like leaving. You know. So it's like whether you're like you respond perfectly to a raid or you're not even there at all. You know. It's the worst raid ever. It doesn't really make a difference. It's it's not like this big it's not like the big break that I think a lot of small streamers look at big raids as. They're helpful for sure, and you'll definitely get a couple of new viewers here or there. But whether it's like a hundred person or a thousand person or just a couple people, you know, generally there's only gonna be like maybe less than five people that actually do like hang out, you know. So just just remember that. And hey, you know, maybe less than five people is like a really big deal to you, and hey, no disrespect to that. That's a big deal to me. Hey, any new viewer to me, I appreciate. But uh, you know, it's it's not like it's not a life changing thing. So that's to, the reason I say that is because it's like don't feel like you have to stay online or act a certain way just because someone raided you. You know, that's my advice. I would, as someone, as someone who does a lot of raiding, I I prefer when people are not doing that. I prefer when people don't go all fucking commentary mode just because I raided them and shit. Just like keep the vibe going the way you had it, you know. Don't let the riot, the raid, like totally fucking change who you are, you know. People don't like a fake ass motherfucker on when you're live streaming. Remember that. People don't like the, a fake, you know, glitzed up version of you. They want the real you. Never forget that. So if you're just some quiet, salty speedrunner that's sarcastic all the time, just be like, hey, thanks for the raid, and just get back to what the fuck you're doing, you know. That's my advice. I'm gonna get all the dogs, fuck it. The dogs. Oop. Give me that dog. Give me that boner.
Mm. Give me this. Would I consider myself a big streamer? No. Because that term is really relative. To someone who has five viewers, a big streamer is someone with like 40 viewers. And to someone with 40 or 60 viewers, a big streamer is someone who has 100 viewers. And if someone has 100 viewers, a big streamer has 300 viewers. Do you see the logic here? It's all, it's all relative. So to me, a big streamer has like, I don't know, yeah, three to 600 viewers or, or a thousand, you know? That's like my definition of a big streamer. But for someone else, it's different. Doesn't, doesn't really mean anything at the end of the day. What means something is that you have a community, whether it's like a small one or a big one. That, that's what matters, you know, is that there's people that, you know, that, that keep coming back that like what you do. Whether it's like a couple people or a bunch of people. You'd be surprised, like, you know, how, how little the viewer count correlates to the amount of support a, view, a streamer gets. There are streamers with, with thousands of viewers that don't even have as, nearly as many subs as me before the subathon, you know? And on the other side of that spectrum, I feel so lucky that, like, that so many of you guys uh, have supported me over the years, despite me not necessarily being the biggest streamer in the world. Maybe I'm big as far as Spyro speedrunners go, but that's not really saying much, right? It's like, okay, I have like a hundred viewers. It's not like a, it's not like I'm big time or anything, as far as I see it. But I do have a really supportive community, and that's like the more important part. Here. Hopefully that makes sense. Clueless, thank you for the uh, sub. Appreciate it. My friend is. Am I ever coming back to the sunny? Oh, California, dude. I don't know. I will jam out to the bone dance. Dude, he's not even dancing, bro. Get the, get off your ass. Get. I'll do it for you. Okay. All right. Look, I had to do this guy's job for him. An asshole, lazy bones. Oh yeah, I gotta do the flip. <laughs> no, I'm definitely not doing the flip. If I had like a bed right here, I would do it. I have a futon, but if I flipped on that, I would probably break my neck. <laughs> All right, um, that's everything I want here, I think. I can't pause? I can't pause, maybe I'm zombied? Weird. I can't, I think, I think I, this is another anti-piracy thing is I can't pause anymore. Yeah, that's, yeah, Undies is right. So I'm pressing the pause and select buttons. I cannot pause anymore. Anti-piracy moment. Holy shit. Vroom. I see peak, here we go. All right, pauses are officially out of the question. Let's save state here. Let's go talk to this guy real quick. <laughs> yeah, zero pause cheat enabled. Oh, by the way. Well, thank you, Cac. I'm consistent, but I could be more consistent. Consistency is one of those things that you'll never be, like, perfect at, I feel like. Like, one element of consistency that I'm bad at is always streaming at the exact same time. That's one of those things I always tell you as a streamer you gotta do, is stream at the exact same time. I stream at a general time, but not the exact same time every day. And there are days I take days off and stuff like that. I'm, not, I'm human, you know what I mean? Like, you'll never be perfectly consistent when it comes to, like, content and streaming and stuff like that. And that's okay, because that's like, that's part of the, uh, I think, weirdly as it sounds, I think that's part of the magic of it, is that every now and again you create something or do something that's just really, like, special. You know, that's, it's, it's, it's an inconsistency that you do something that's, like, completely, you know, I look back on some of the videos that I was playing for you guys, like, in the evening, and it's like, man, some of these videos I feel really proud, they're just like a, a moment that I just spend two weeks making some fucking thing about Spyro Gems or something, and it's like, 
You know, that is an inconsistency for me. And in, in that way, it's like kind of cool. Or like a subathon, for example. This isn't something I do like consistently at all. And that's what makes it special. So there is something to be said for inconsistency as well, you could say. Um, should I go to the supercharged section? Let's go do that. Also, uh, isn't there like any eggs sitting around here? Yeah, I gotta go. Hold on, let me grab the egg that's like over here. Should we do Nancy? We should probably do Nancy, right? There's a fucking egg. The egg is up here, I believe. Oh, where's my moon jump? There we go. Sometimes the moon jump just doesn't kick in. Um, I gotta go. Good luck. I'll catch you again before the stream ends. I hope so, Kana. We're gonna keep going all today, uh, tonight, and uh, tomorrow as well. I'm gonna be doing a trifecta tomorrow. How did I die there? Did the game just kill me just for no reason? Is that another- Are the anti-piracy things just happening now? Oh god. Hold on, let me grab this other egg over here. I think I'm starting to hit- that was my first, like, random anti-piracy death there. Yeah, we'll do Nancy. I'll head over there. Hit this thing. Vroom. Tonight is my big- Tonight's my big night. <laughs> It's my big night. Yay. The actual, like, um, ice mechanics aren't that much faster. If I charge onto the ice, I'll be moving fast, but... It just preserves momentum. Do, 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 do. I like how my background, like, matches the... Uh-oh. Okay, phew. I like how my, uh, my webcam background kind of matches the ice rink a little bit. I'm theming it, right? Let's get some spinning Nancys in the chat. I am gonna update that spinning Nancy emote. I'll, I'll actually take a video, like a, a spiral world viewer shot of her like spinning, and we'll actually put that as a Twitch emote one of these days. What's up, Pixie? This music reminds you of Rugrats. I totally feel what you're saying, yeah. To what? <laughs> Two-bit slut, she got more- Jesus Christ, Michael. <laughs> it was a wholesome moment until you came along. Jesus Christ, man. What did she ever do to you? It's her big night. You're talking to her like this? She deserves better. <laughs> la la, thank you, Hydro. Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, I can't pause. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You know, I have to like actually go to the portals to exit levels now. That's kind of that's kind of cool actually. So yeah, but there's definitely possibilities to get soft locked now if I'm not careful. Are there any areas that I can't exit via like a portal? I guess the boss areas, but there's like the balloon. Yeah, I don't think there's any areas that I'll that I'm like soft locked in. Okay, F2. We're so we're safe stating right here. We're gonna head to Evening Lake. We're starting to see some real. Hello. Wait, can I do it? Oh shit! Am I fucked? Is this an anti-piracy moment? Hold on, let me- here's what I'm gonna do at this point. Let me save my game. oh I can't- I can't save the game. It auto-saved when I exited the level, so... Here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close the game, I'm gonna turn off the- the super speed. And that might be what's affecting it, maybe, I'm not sure. So, I'm going to, um... Turn off the super speed cheat. Oh, where is it? Speed 50, turn that off. And, um... We're gonna reset, reset the console. System reset. We're gonna try to load the save file. We'll see what happens. Because at this point, the save file may be corrupted. So we'll see. I can't pause. No, if I spam pause, it does nothing. The anti-piracy took my pause button away. Change spiral to orange. Uh, did you sub? I, I remember saying that if you subbed or uh, or a YouTube member, then I would change the color. 
Master Gabe, thanks for the $2 earlier, by the way. Pausing is fixed by restarting. Okay, cool. Yeah, hopefully this fixes things. We'll see. Yeah, there's yellow, I believe. I have yellow and blue, and I think... I don't have the red one, but yeah, I think there's yellow and blue you can do. There is also, like, a weird, like, cheat mod where you can use, like, hex to make it, like, a custom color, but I, I don't have that. Let's load this. How do you play the anti-pirated version? It sounds like a terribly fun- Well, this- this is how you do it. You have to reload shit 24-7. Okay, I still- wait, wait, hold on. But I don't have the super speed, I don't think, right? Yeah, we're good. Okay, we're good. I think it might have just been the super speed cheat that was fucking me there. Go evening lake. All right, we're good. We're keeping this keeping this playthrough moving. You guys can see why like I'm doing the cheats and stuff. You know, it's like idiotic, worthless fool. Lazy with the I fifteen. Oh my God, Chuggers in the chat for Lazy. Cheers, Lazy legend. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get to be able to fight the sorceress, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to beat the sorceress, because one of the anti-piracy things is it literally teleports you back to Sunny Villa and deletes your save file during the sorceress fight. As well as potentially on the Evening Lake balloon as well. Also, he's shooting me really quickly here. He's definitely on hard mode right now. He's on big dick. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, can I flame them? Does that work? Oh, I can't, like, knock these, can I? Can I just walk into him? Yeah, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> Get fucked, bitch. Strats. I'm a genius. Fight fire with fire. <laughs> I'm all powerful. Fucking bitch. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Try to shoot me. Try to. Oh, oh, you're gonna smack me? Oh, try to shoot me, please. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, it's, uh, oh. Oh, he's gonna hit me, guys. Oh, he might shoot me. Oh, no, he picked up a power-up. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. Ow, ow. Listen. I don't care. Goodbye. <laughs> what a bitch, you know? Please don't cuck me out of going to evening light game. Please, I'm begging you. Can you have blue Spyro? All right, you got it, Lazzy. Let me uh, let me set that in the emulator. Once I get to Evening Lake here, I'll turn it on. Bro, he's flying. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think he's gradually lowering. Hold on. Let me let me let him talk to Bianca real quick. <laughs> Give him a sec. <laughs> Give him a moment. Give him a moment. All right, there we go. Uh, where's Blue Spyro? There it is. Listen to me, Dragon. Spyro. There we go. This yeah, I'm liking Blue. Now. Good choice, Lazzy. I like Blue Spyro. Trap for you, and if she catches you, believe me, you don't want to know what she's. Going Dare to I turn the speed back up? I kind of want to. I'm gonna do it. Let me quick save though first, without the speed. I just like the speed, dude. I'm a, I'm a speed demon. Listen to me, dragon. Now we're flying. Dude, blue Spyro is fucking sick, actually. Let's put it on full screen here. We are flying. Let's go inside this guy. Chomp. David with the $5. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, man. Love you, David. <laughs> Listen to me, Dragon. You're playing a compromised version of the game. She doesn't actually say that, does she? I th I'm pretty sure the only voice line that's changed is the, uh, is the thing in Sunrise Springs. Oh. Oh, I don't have enough eggs. How many- Oh, God. How many eggs has it taken from me? Let's see. We're at how many in total? 
We have 49. Oh, we just need one more egg to unlock fireworks. Okay, hold on. There, I can grab one in the home world here. Grab two, actually. Yeah, the speed is awesome. I agree. Even though it does kind of mess with some stuff, it's worth it. Other egg. Keep forgetting that there's all these fucking eggs here. Alright, let's head over to, uh. Oop. Wait, where am I going? Fireworks. Before I lose too many eggs, let's go to fireworks. Yeah, I'm digging Blue Spyro as well. I'm fucking with it. <laughs> You're going to jail for hacking. Oh my god, so satisfying getting to this upper area early. Okay, let's uh, talk to... Uh, wait, we have to activate her over here first, I believe. Where is she? Where is that bitch? Is she just at the end already? No? Yes, she is. There like you go. Easy. Room. Hey. Why don't you use these cheats in a run? Uh, you know, it's only against the rules. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to Agent 9 yet. Let's just run around for a bit. Let me just walk into these guys. <laughs> they still blow you up, it's fine. Fuck them up. You guys don't scare me. Grab this egg over here. Trying to get as many eggs as I can here. Oh, even if you had a legal, like, normal disc of the game, it still would do the anti-piracy if your if your uh, PlayStation had a mod chip on it. That's crazy. Didn't even know that. Let's do double dragons. Fifty-four. Fifty-four. What? 54 eggs? Yeah, thanks for keeping track, actually. I don't think I need the... What's it called? Oh my god, just total destruction. Where is he? Come on, pussy. Think I'm scared? Where'd he go? He's back here, right? Where the fuck is he? I'm chasing this bitch down. You don't scare me. There's the orange guy. Let's get him before he starts regenerating too much. Oh my god, this is actually kind of challenging. Oh, I'll stand right here. This should hit him. Nice. That didn't quite kill him, did it? Wait, hold on. Maybe I need to activate this in order to activate the actual health bars. Yeah. Or at least to see the visual of them. I don't know if that does anything, but... It does make my glide slower, though. Where is he going? Where is blood going? Fucking you up, ho. It's actually still really hard. The last guy here. Dude, oh my god. Come on. You're dead. That was probably slower than world record, I bet. Your brain feels like it's uh, stuck in a blender on low. That's even worse than a blender on high. At least a blender on high just completely destroys it. A blender on low is like, actually painful. catch up this weekend. You're not a piece of shit, babe. You're you're literally trying your best. Like I don't I don't blame you. You're not a piece of shit. 
You're going to be okay. It's 333. Three, three. What's 333? Three, three, three? I know they're juking me. <laughs> like, I'm actually getting kind of fucked up by this. Do I have my pause disabled? Okay, I still have pause again. Thank God I restarted the game to get my pause back. Okay. Probably Agent 9. But let me uh, quick save though. Actually, before I quick save, let me um, create a new uh, save slot right here. Yeah, we'll save right over. Oop. Right here. There we go. Just so we have more than one slot to reference in case one of them gets borked. Hey, Spyro! Oh, I'm actually playing as Agent 9. Do I do hold on? Do I still move more quickly? Let's find out. Oh, I think I, I do actually move more quickly here. Hold on. I can just run through this shit. Dude, I have five. Th what is that health counter? <laughs> five, one, three, three. Oh, also, if I touch them, they die. This is so easy now. Oh my god, I wish it was like this in the normal game. Your job came out, you told you need to- Dude, that's like the worst feeling. When your job is like, hey man, you're not doing well enough. I remember when I worked at- Dude, my only point of reference, like, is my my old retail job at a guitar center I had years ago. But, uh, I remember I had- the, like, my manager had conversations like that with me. I remember feeling so bad after, I was like, yeah, sorry, like... You guys, I wanted to tell him, like, you guys don't pay me enough to care that much. <laughs> but, I mean, obviously, I didn't- obviously, I didn't say that. Like, I, I, but I did feel bad. No machine gun required. Thanks for what Yeah, that's Insomniac's login password in the fucking health bar. Alright, we pretty much got all the eggs we wanted here. Isn't there like a secret area somewhere in this level? Oh yeah, this. Yeah, this is like a secret life chest that you- that there's no way to access normally. Isn't that wild? There's no like- this is supposed to be a cracked wall, but it's not. Just a little fun fact. Go back around. Isn't that weird? Can I go under? No. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like a miscellaneous speedrun category of this game that's all life chests, or all life bottles. And uh, you have to get that one as well. You have to like do a crazy out of bounds for it. You make students cry every day. What do you guys do that makes people cry? I feel like I've made- I've probably made people cry in my chat before, probably, by being mean. Probably doesn't happen a lot, but it's probably happened. What are Sparks' powers when purple? Dude, he gets all- he gets your- he gets your mother as a girlfriend. Okay, uh, 58. How are we looking on- is it taking away eggs yet? Let's find out. We were, uh, at... We're at 57, dude. We're always one egg under. 65. Okay, well, I guess we're going to Lost Fleet then. Or no, we can, uh... No, we grabbed the whale thing. Yeah, let's go here. Good thing I've grabbed as many eggs as I have. Otherwise, it'd be... Otherwise, I'd have to start cheating in eggs at this point. Which I don't want to do. Uh, yes, I have played the Japanese version of Spire 1. In fact, uh, one of my, what I think is one of my best YouTube videos is my drunken Japanese 120% run, where I take a sake bomb at the start of every homeworld. Six sake bombs in one playthrough. Go check out that video if you haven't already, Pixie. It's an old one, too, from years ago. Dude, from this angle, Sparks looks like a purple gem. Do you guys see it? Hold on, wait till he comes in front of the camera again. 
Look at that. He looks like a gem, doesn't he? Like, the hit the back of his head. I like purple sparks. He's a vibe. Okay, let's uh, activate the end of this level real quick. There's crazy end. Do I have to... No, you have to blow up the things first. Hold on, let's forget that. Let's see if I can just walk into it. Let's see if that does it. Nice. And then get the other one. Alright, I guess this one's already broken. We'll wait for Ed to do his thing. Do I get still hit by this? Yeah, I guess so. Let's grab this egg over here. Oh yeah, super swim. Keep forgetting about that. We'll see how the skateboarding goes. I'll try the skateboarding with the super speed. You teach business courses at university? Yeah. I can understand where, yeah, being a university professor, you've definitely dealt with some some problematic students, we'll say. God, especially if it's a really nice university too, like some like Ivy League shit, I can only imagine the level enti of entitlement from like the business majors at like a fucking Harvard or some shit, you know? Would you look at that? It's like, you mean I can't just do cocaine and ignore all my classes and pass? What the fuck? Please, I need this professor. Starts crying in their office hours. Where am I going? Uh, subs? Let's try subs. I feel like subs might be borked. We'll see. Always be cheating. The ABCs. <laughs> These here water. You don't make your students cry. You, you make them have fun instead. I mean, like, look. That's th that's tr that's what you sh that's what every sh teacher should strive for, right? Like, I, I hear you. But I mean, like. I mean, like, let's also be real too. It's like there are going to be students that you that really. I hate to say it this way, but it's I just got to kind of lay it on kind of thick here because I also was I have parents that are teachers and I was almost a teacher. There are going to be some students that you cannot help that are going to hate you no matter what you do. Just just the honest truth, especially if you're in like public school or, or no matter where you are, you know, not every student, even if you're the best fucking teacher in the world, there's going to be some student that fucking hates your ass because they have their own shit. They have their own problems. You know what I mean? So, like, even if you're a great teacher, I think even the best of teachers have examples of students where, like, they, you know, like we're saying, like, making students cry or whatever. It's not something to be proud of at all. That's, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, um, you know, the bitter reality of teaching is that you, you know, you see the whole spectrum of, like, of insanity, really. Well, I... I... But, yeah, no, well, what you said is definitely true for, like, um... For trying to be a good teacher is like you want your students to have fun and learn you know like that is i think that is like a very noble pursuit to keep in mind as a teacher i've had a lot of teachers that have that have clearly not that have clearly forgotten that <laughs> aspect of things that is an important that is, a, that, is, that is an important dogma to live by i totally agree with that just it just sadly can't always be the case you know well i i Just like YOLO in these shots. This is a lot harder now that they're shooting a... Come on. There we go. I'm gonna try to fucking ram into every single one. Boom. Oh. Come on. Mm. Great people at your school, it's a wonderful place. I'm glad for you, like, I'm, I'm glad. I, you know, if you can be in an educational environment that doesn't feel oppressive for one reason or another, I think that's a that's a rare and unique experience that not many people get to get to have, get the privilege of having. I'm not doing that round. <laughs> that's how it should be, I mean, truly. It should be like, 
you get to take agency of your own learning. You're around people that support you, teachers and peers alike, that are there to not just like learn, but also have fun and you know grow together, right? Spiral. Teachers learn just as much as the so, students do in, in every class they have. Guys, they bet us. You know? So it's definitely like a mutual growth type of experience when 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 in, when a teaching environment is going well. It's operating like efficiently, so to speak. Oops. But yeah, it's just it's just hard to hit that. I mean it's like it's it almost feels like idealistic, you know, at times to to ask for an environment where students are having fun but also not being out of hand and staying on task, you know. That that is a lot to ask of even like the brightest students, like truth be told. You know. So it's a hard it's a hard goal. It's a goal you'll never fully reach, you know. But it's a good goal to always have. Teaching is teaching is one of the hardest professions, I really believe it. It's different with every subject, every group of kids, you know, or whatever students you want to say, depending on the age. It's just something that, uh, it's really tough. It requires a lot of active, you know, involvement. The second you check out and you're just like letting students do whatever, it's like, and believe me, I've had teachers like that as well. It's like, then that's just it, you know? Yes! Just like with streaming, like the second I check out and I'm just phoning stuff in and not saying any, anything and just, it's like, now that the like that's it, the end, you know, that's like, that's the start of the end right there, you know? Except Hunter C. <laughs> Look at this, dude. Except Hunter C? Bruh. <laughs> uh, did he say what I think he said? Except his his what? His cock? <laughs> uh This is awkward. You're on, pal. Fuck. Crashes instantly. Dude, this is so fucking hard. When you start using the boost, it gets fucking intense. No, dude, come on. Dude. You got to pass me up here. Hello. Okay, here we go. Oh no, I'm about to crash. I'm an idiot. Should have waited that one. Alright, let's roll. We're flying now. It's fucking too fast. Dude, I would rock a, a rocket skateboard track. Dude, oh, I keep fucking crashing on everything. Dude! Okay, hold on, don't crash on this. Of course he crashed on that. Alright, here we go. We're flying. We're flying, baby. No! Hold on, I just want to fly off this ramp. Oh yeah, baby. We're taking off to outer space. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, I'm going around. We're going around. Oh shit. Did I win? Yeah. Oh wait, no, I missed all the crabs. Hey, okay, you beat. Fuck. Uh, nah, get me out of here. I missed all the crabs. Forgot about that part. I've definitely done that in runs before. I should have. I I just gotta accept Hunter C on that one. I got I gotta take the C right in my right in my B if you know what I'm saying. Crab Rangoon sounding good right now. There you go. All right, let's go here before it takes away my fucking eggs. You've been binge watching Magic School Bus. I don't blame you for that. A good show. The throwback. It's like binge watching Bill Nye Spiral, or something. We urgently need your help. The evil cat wizards of Felinia have stormed our the castle. Evil and cut our... All right. Peace out. What if I just went straight to the end, bitch? What do you think about that? Well, I do believe I have to open this first, though. <laughs> Perfectly landing on him. Nice, nice. Easy money. Oh, 
Goosebumps with vodka. Tell that one to, uh... To Goyle. She's down. You can start your PhD so you can become a professor. Good luck! I hope that goes as smoothly as a PhD could go, which is to say very rocky and full of uh, self-doubt. So... I wish you all the best in navigating. Navigating. Don't overthink it. You'll live. I'm just flying up here, fuck it. Easy. Easy. Easy! At la- At last! I'm gonna ground pound it, fuck it. My first- Oh, what the hell? It broke the thing underneath, but I can't go through this thing. Okay. Well, hold on, can I go into it from out of bounds? No, it's like fully solid, isn't it? Yeah, there's no way. Is there any, like, collision I can get through here? No, I can't even get inside the, uh, the place. Yeah, I broke the thing in here, but I can't go in. That's funny. Oh, yeah, don't shoot me. Oh shit, <laughs> you knocked me back pretty hard there. Ooh, let me grab this egg here real quick. Let me, uh, I'll do the, uh, question mark thingy. Just for funsies. Dude, I might try the Sergeant Bird section with Spyro. Well, actually, no, I'll probably crash my game doing that, actually. Uh, where's the other one? It's over here. What? <laughs> I think when they hit you with the, uh, with the thing, I think it puts you at the height cap. I think it shoots you up really high when that happens. Let me try again. Hold on. I'm curious. Oh. Whoops. Hold on. Sorry. Any more, uh, hold on. Let me grab the question mark thing. Oh, maybe I have to, like, do this. Shoot me? I have to like, I have to like be bonking and have it happen. Huh. Or maybe jump as it happens? Yeah, you have to jump as it happens and it puts you at the height cap. <laughs> That's dope. Alright, anyways. <laughs> Activated that by accident. New proxy discovered. <laughs> New proxy just dropped on. Oh my god, this guy wants to fuck around. Die, bitch. Hold on, let me grab the egg that's up there. Loving the new route, thank you. I've, I've made it myself. Well, I want to see if I can kill this guy while he's big. No, you know I can't. Worth a try. Worth worth a potential game crash. You try. Let's grab this. Oh, this doesn't even give you an egg. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Just get some extra gems, I guess. Let me grab these lives for fun. Everything's just for fun here. I'm out. Except Hunter C. <laughs> Except Hunter C? <laughs> yes. You're on. Right in my B. <laughs> A duplicitous larcenous or sign. What the fuck? Uh... You never see that uh, cutscene during um during speedruns. You skip to, into Bentley, so you miss you miss that part unless you go back. You're on, pal. Give me that C. I want to write in my face. You won't. You're shy. Alright. 
Throws and altars, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. Welcome to Frozen. Mwah. So at this point, I am feeling like we're just going to kind of skip through stuff here. Um, should I do Yeti Box? I'm curious if Yeti Boxing is different with the speed mod. I will try that, but let's go ahead and uh, well, do Cocky as well. No, let's let's hit some Yeti Boxing, see if it works. Well, I didn't do, actually I did not un unlock Bentley yet, so I need to do that level first. If anything, I might turn on the Spyro during, um, during non-Spyro things thing at this point, so let me quick save here just so I can see what it's like to do Spyro during like Yeti boxing for example or uh, or during the Bentley level that would definitely be an upgrade if I'm being honest just gotta be careful about doing it in like Sergeant Bird uh, Spyro in non Spyro levels can I like enter Yeti boxing from out of bounds Oh, let me grab this egg. I do love a good egg. Look, it fell on. He fell. Is it possible to go out of bounds and then inside that area? Yes. Yeti boxing, here we go. Let's see what happens. This might be a game crash, who knows? Can I just kill him? No, he doesn't even talk to me, Bart. No, nah, that's totally fucked. He's still looking at me, though. Oh, I'm like stuck in here. Jump around him. Well, get me the fuck out of here. I guess that's what that is. Let's head over to, uh... Hockey. Hockey for getting to go in through this way. I challenged... I challenge you to eat Hunter's seed. I think that's just gonna be mostly normal. I broke it. You gotta be I gotta be careful about touching it. I gotta be careful about touching Hunter's C. Oh my god, come on. Well, he might beat me. He's the enemy is on a hot streak here. Well. Uh oh. Oh wow, dude, the assist. Well done. Very nice. Play Nintendo 64? What, are you telling me to do that? I'm planning on doing a Toy Story 2 um, after crowd control. I'm, I'm gonna be doing this. I'm, we're getting towards the end of this playthrough. Don't worry, we're getting to the Midnight Mountain sooner than you guys might think. Um, I, just, I just gotta do the Bentley level and then I'm there, basically. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, once we get to Midnight Mountain, I'm just gonna go straight into the Sorceress, I think. And, um, if we get to Midnight Mountain, that is. Uh, if I don't have to cheat into Midnight Mountain, we're gonna go straight to the Sorceress yeah. and save state right before it and see if we can beat her after several attempts. We're gonna see. Because this is where it starts to get really fucked up with the save data here. It's gonna start- I think once I go to Midnight Mountain, it's gonna start deleting my saves and shit like that. And take me- it might take me straight back to, uh, Sunrise Springs and stuff. But yeah, let's do Bentley first real quick with Spyro. See if this isn't a soft lock. Hopefully it's not. But yeah, then after that, we're going to try to do Spiral 1 crowd control. I will and I'll just do like an any percent run of that as well. And then after all that, if I'm still feeling it, we'll, we'll hop into Toy Story. Oh, let's talk to Bart here. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. 
Oh yeah, just automatically destroying everything. I don't need this shit. Come on, bro. Where you at, bro? If you use your Oh, does this work? Uh-oh. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. What if I like stand right in front of him? So do I like knock it? Okay, that did something. <laughs> Can I flame it? Hold on, I have to time the flame like perfectly. Hold up. No? Or maybe it's going like above the flame. Hmm. I might have to load. I might have to close and reopen so I can play as uh, Bentley here. Because I can't just go, like, go straight to the end. I need Bart to go all the way to the end. All right, so be it. <laughs> um, let's uh, close the game. Exit without saving. System. Uh, start BIOS. Change disk from file. Spiral 1.1. Boom, boom. Cheat. Turn off the cheat. Spiral and non-spiral levels. Fast forward. Okay, it broke, I think. Okay, I think it broke. Let me reset. Okay. I'll just let it play out. I'm not going to fast forward it. How do I feel about the accusations of me being a nerd? I'm going to have to sadly admit that yes, I am a fucking nerd. <laughs> this game going to start? Did the game just break? <laughs> like what the fuck? Maybe it's like one of the cheats I have on. Maybe it's this times 50 speed cheat I think is causing it. So let's turn that off. I think, let's try one more time. I think that was what it was. Reset. And this time I think I can speed it up. Yeah. Load this. Let's see if the save file isn't fucked here, if it didn't put me back super far. I'm not doing the Crash Bash uh, demo. Uh, it'll it'll crash the game because I'm uh because I'm using the widescreen mod. Alrighty, I guess we have to do Bentley normally. <laughs> Except I do have Moon Jump still. I could try turning the speed back up again. Hold on, I'm curious. Let me try that. Because I did have to turn the speed mod off. But now that I'm in the game, I think I can turn it back on. Oh yeah, he's a little faster. Bentley chillin'. <laughs> you can hit it from up there, that's tight. Oh, let me do it to the other one. That one. Sweet. If you use your Yeah, now it's like the correct speed is what it feels like. He moves so fucking slow in the normal game. It's like kind of atrocious. You can grab all these gems just cause why not? A lot of juicy gems here. <laughs> I love that I can do that. Perfect. Where you at, Bart? Get over here. Another go. Another go. Easy. Oh damn, that shit gets pushed way quicker. 
I worked in a guitar store. Yeah, I worked at Guitar Center. Um, it's a big music retailer. Um, music or instrument related stories. I worked in the drum department. So like literally, I think it's safe to say about 85% of people that came into my department um, just wanted to borrow a pair of sticks and fuck around on the kits. About fuck around on the drum sets or electronic sets. So a lot of my job was just babysitting people from destroying all of the equipment in the area. And I, there's definitely been a lot of moments of people being like, Hey, can I borrow some sticks? And I'd have to be like, dude, there's already like five people out there. I'm sorry. Just just like wait for someone to get off and, and then you can have their sticks or something. And then they'll be like, dude, I know you have more sticks behind the counter, bro. Like, you gotta let me play. I'm like, dude, this is a store. This is like, this is not a practice studio. Like, there, the level of entitled, like, entitlement from people that are like, Dude, I should be allowed to just practice here, like on a loud ass fucking instrument, you know? Like, it's like, dude, this is not a practice studio. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. You can try out the kits, and I don't care if you buy them or not. Like, you can just play on them and have fun. But if I'm trying to talk to someone, like, don't be mad if I ask you to, you know, hold on for a second while I'm, like, talking to someone. That would happen a lot. Like, most days, there would be someone at least mildly frustrated that I would, like, ask them to be quiet for a Thanks, moment or bro. something. Like very politely, like, oh, hey, excuse me, you know, like while they're playing. It's like they they look at me like as if I interrupted their like their their practice room se session or something. <laughs> it's like, what? Oh. Shout outs to all of them. Thank you, Lazi. Chuggers in the chat for all the cute mods, cute tier threes, cute chat, all the cute everything. Let's not forget cute streamer as well. Um, <clears throat> and thanks everyone who's watching right now on Twitch as well. 229 people here. I see we probably have a few new viewers. Um, if you guys are, are you, if you hate the ads that are playing incessantly, please consider watching on YouTube. I also have a mirror of this stream happening on YouTube that all the same chats show up over there on the chat box. So you won't be missing out if you watch over there. Exclamation point YouTube on the chat. Uh, where the fuck is Bart? May I ask? Did, is he fucked? Where, where did he go? After I did another gong, he just disappeared. He, I think maybe he fell through the floor or something. I think maybe I have to do this on knots. Oh, no, no, no. He, no, we talked to him. We talked to him. Because this, the portal's here. Right? Well, let's exit and find out. I, I think we talked to him. I just forgot I was not paying attention. I was telling the story. Yeah, Fast Bentley is actually really satisfying. I should have fucked around more with him to be honest. All right. So guys, things might start getting extremely fucky right about now. This is around the point of the playthrough where it might start deleting my save file. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna save here. So hit, a, hit a quick save state right there. Extra shout out to being extra cute. Thank you, appreciate it. I'm also going to, just for extra, extra, extra safety, I think I'm going to um, turn off the super speed mod at this point, just in case I need to turn it off later and reset and everything. While my save file is still good, let me just turn off all the stuff that could potentially fuck me up that would cause me to need to reset, like Spyro in other levels and uh, the speed mod. So let's um, reset the emulator one last time here. Turn off super speed. Turn off Spyro and non-Spyro, okay. Let's uh, reset. The save file should take me to right at the end of, right outside of Bentley here. Yeah, this is where we gotta start being pretty careful here. So we'll see what happens. We're getting to, we're getting to the juicy part of this mod here where it really starts to fucking delete your shit and send you it, so this is what's supposed to happen is either on this rocket or at during the sorceress or maybe at some other point in between there um it can just randomly teleport me back to sunny villa or to a uh, sunrise springs and delete all my save data or if i'm lucky it'll just remove gems and and uh eggs and stuff so this is, it's gonna get pretty serious right about now. Yeah, Billy Spin, indeed. Thank you, Tisses. Hype Train, by the way. Any subs? This is a subathon, by the way. If you want to add to the timer up above, feel free to drop a prime or something like that. A gift, if you wish. 
Okay, um, bot one. Did I say new game or did I say load game? Load game here. Okay, we should have super speed turned off now at this point. Okay, super speed is off. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see him like smack into the ground? The moon jump is still on, so that's fucking with some of the verticality of it. That's funny. <laughs> moon jump is fine, though. All right, here we go. Midnight Mountain. Pray for me. Pray that it doesn't take me back to Sunrise Springs right now. Fingers crossed. Oh, God. What's going to happen? I'm really scared right now. I am actually fucking nervous right now. That's it. Mikhail, thank you for the Prime, and Leia I'm Inferno with the gift. Love you guys. Thanks for keeping the sub-a-thon alive. Love you both very much. Okay, here we go. The adventure continues. We're gonna do the, the spike fight here, hopefully. Okay. This might be our- Tissiz with the gift. Love you, man. Prage, yes. The gift to Prage. I need it. I'm just gonna stand right here and just flame him. <laughs> Who needs a red rocket? Dude, I'm gonna do this fight rocket list right now. Just hit me. I don't even care. I got it. I got invincibility. Fight fire with fire, you know what I'm saying? Get fucked. <laughs> You little, you little bombs, it's so scary. Like an idiot. Fucking dumbass, look at this. Why don't they just do this in world record? <laughs> good, good fight, wouldn't you say? Oh, one more. Come on. Come on, bud. Oh man, the screen tearing is crazy. And ju just to add insult to injury, last shot is going to be a green rocket. Just to fuck him up while he's moving. Fucking dumbass. Get fucked. Peace. <laughs> that's, for all the, that's for all the green rockets that you've given on world record paces. Fucking bitch. Yeah, my evening late could have been worse, I think. But hold on. Th th wait a minute, because this is where things could, could get fucked. Hi, my light went off right there. Did that scared me. Any more food? Okay. Okay. Midnight Mountain. Hold up. We might be good here. Come on. Let's spawn into Midnight Mountain. Save successfully. Okay. All right. We're in Midnight Mountain. Okay. Big. We need Let's save state. Save state. Spyro, I... Okay, let's roll. We, we're just gonna go straight to the sorceress. I don't trust anything. At this point, the, the game is highly volatile, and I could just fucking warp back to Sunny Villa at any point. So I'm just gonna enter the sorceress from behind. Actually, I'll fly around for a minute. Why not? I have the safe state. It's not that scary. Let's talk to this egg. I'm curious to actually make that happen if that hasn't already. Flying around. No biggie. Oh, let's go to the life chest uh, island. I mean, you gotta jam. Dude, if I'm in Midnight Mountain, come on, what's the big hurry? We gotta jam out to the music. Can't <laughs> fuck it all fly around, gets warped back randomly. There was like stairs here. Should I go into one of the levels? What do you guys think? Or should I just go straight? I feel like I should go into a level or something before I quit here. Let's go into haunted. I'm I'm trying to like go to. The, I'm trying to like uh, get the game to uh, you know fuck fuck with me a little bit here. I'm I'm like I'm curious like my my morbid curiosity is getting the better of me right now. Let me see if I can do the Agent 9 thing. 
the other side. One of those dogs with fun. Godly hands, thank you for the gift. Appreciate it. Fuck. Wait, hold on. Wait, do I have the super jump still? I'm sorry. Wait, what? Dude, look at these speech options. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> w. <laughs> Bro, W's in the chat, man. This is a W moment. <laughs> a shadow T, a tamagi, a giant footsteps. <laughs> shadow T, tamagi. <laughs> W stream, dude. Let's be honest. This guy's a W dog. It's cat. <laughs> okay, nice. We do have the super jump. I'm out. And the game crashed. Cool. Let's go ahead and load the, uh... What the fuck? Yeah, definitely wanted that. All right, there we go. Let's head back here. Spyro, I know you. That, I, honestly, I was asking for that game crash. That, yeah, that game crash can happen even just on the vanilla game. That wasn't like an anti-piracy thing or whatever. Let's go to Crystal Island. Yeah, it was still moving frame by frame, but it does. The way the crashes happen in this game is sometimes they'll advance a frame or two, but then they will actually be hard crashed at that point. It's not worth waiting. You're, yeah. When that happens, you're crashed basically. Let's go get this uh this egg. I kind of want to turn super speed back on. Oh, Prince Abdullah. He's calling me on my phone. Hold on, I gotta answer this. Hello? Uh. What? The lore expands. Lazi, do you take Prince Abdullah in your in lawful marriage right now? What the fuck? Prince Abdullah is a man of many uh, many wives, as you know. He actually wanted me to fuck his wife on a previous uh, donation message, if I remember correctly. Here, you. Okay, I kind of want to turn. Now I know I probably shouldn't do this, but I kind of want to turn on the speed glitch. Um, for this for the slide, I kind of want to do it, but it will require me to restart and load a save file, which I'm kind of concerned about. I guess I do have the save state still. So I could load to the save state that I know is fine, even if the save file is corrupted. So I'm gonna do it. I wanna see what's, I have to see what the super speed, uh, oops, did the wrong thing. I have to see what the super speed fucking slide looks like. I have to, this is, this is my, this is my calling everybody. I have to send it. Let's see if it's like Sonic Riders. Vroom. I think it's gonna slow me back down, though. Okay, yeah, it totally just slowed me back down. <laughs> Whack. Typical slide being the wackest slide in all of late 90s, early 2000s platforming. Classic slide maneuver there to just slow me back down to the, no to the normal speed. Get cucked. Is this walk funny in super speed? It's okay. I mean, it's actually I wasn't even paying attention to that. To that. Do, 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 do. All right. Well, we do have super speed again, which is gonna actually make um like exploring around Crystal Islands kind of fun. Let's do the swim in air. Dude, I'm not afraid of these. I'm not afraid of these things. Come on, give me this egg. It did crash with 74 eggs, and but I think it was because of what I did with um, with Agent Nine, not because of the actual piracy. Look at this. Who needs a flight power up? Not me. Does, I wonder if these work while you're gliding. Like with this uh, particular cheat on. Dude, I keep missing them. Alright, here we go. No. <laughs> of course not. 
Alright, what else should I do here? Is there anything else worth giving a fuck about here? Pretty much did everything. Oh, we should do the end of level at least. Oh. Oh, uh-oh. Oh man, I thought I was cucked there for a moment. I'll land on top of here just to uh, activate the end of level thing. Oh, it's not even active. Yeah, whatever. Get me out of here. Fuck this. Dude, I'm like, okay, I might eat my words in a second, but I'm getting surprisingly not fucked by the anti-piracy so far. And it is on. We definitely did confirm that it was on during this playthrough with the uh, Zoe at the at the beginning of Sunrise. Let's go into a couple more levels and see, wait, what the fuck? Oh, I saw that. This texture tripped me out. I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> uh, Dino isn't open. I could probably go in from behind them. Is that a thing? No? It's pretty solid back here. Dare I just go to the sorceress and say fuck it? Oh, it, de <laughs> it definitely took away that egg. I definitely grabbed that egg earlier. Oh, no, actually, no, I didn't because I loaded the save file after the crash. Should I unlock Agent 9 just say well, fuck it? Let's do the Agent 9 level just for fun, please. And, th and then we'll head to the Sorceress. You want to see the removed special island? You talking about the life chest island? I went there earlier. I'll go back there uh, after this, if I remember. The one they removed, they don't. They actually didn't remove it. It's just, uh, it's just like not accessible. Oh, I'll go there right now. You talking about this? Yeah. It is possible to reach this island um, through normal gameplay, but you have to do a proxy on the helmet and have it be like literally so perfect that it flies you all the way over here. It's very difficult. Sa Did it say save failed? Ooh. Ooh. Let's see what it says here. Ooh. Ooh, that just gave me chills. Autosave unavailable. Ooh, what chills. Did you see a rhinoc, right? It's been autosaving this whole time. Uh, agent. I have a memory card in, technically. Come on, can I just, like, walk into these? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck them. Die. Die, little cardboard ballers. That's how you're meant to get the- Oh, and another game crash there, yep. Oh, wait. Wait, exit. Okay, exit. I think you're right. I think that is actually the anti-piracy doing that. Huh. That's weird, because that type of game crash, that was, I think that's what happened in Haunted Tomb. Now, in Haunted Tomb, you can crash like that, but it's it's different. It's not like that type of crash where you can recover it. So I think that was the anti-piracy. Whoa. Let's grab this other egg over here. How much am I missing? Let's see what the egg count says right now. It says 65, 4,000 gems. 65 eggs, 4,000 gems. I'm probably missing quite a few eggs for Dino Mines. But I could try just unlocking it with a cheat if you guys want me to, to do it. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, that's a, that's a door right there. 80, I'm like, I'm like 10, 10 eggs off right now. Does this work? Yeah. You wanna see the removed minigame? Alright, we'll go to Dino Mines. I will have to do the uh, cheat. Or 80? Look, it Oh, I'm at 80! What? <laughs> Wait a minute, I definitely remember looking at the guidebook and it said like 60 something. We're good. No cheats required. Chillin'. Yeah, let's go see the removed minigame. It's- I think it's back here somewhere. Easy. I just- I just, uh, spoke that one into existence, I guess. Uh, it's like back here somewhere, right? Yep, there it is. Remove minigame. And I just exited it somehow. I thought that was gonna put me back in, like, Sunrise Springs or something. I got scared for a moment. 
What the hell was that? Oh, it's just the noise of both of them shooting at once. I am scared right now. I'm just scared that I'm just gonna get so fucked right now. Let's go over. Over this area. Fuck the underwater area. Mm. Let's talk to this dude. He's like, let me out of here, bro. I'm right here. Oh, I have to like break it from the other side, I think. Ooh, it's trying to crash me. You can see it. This is so cursed. It like, it makes me nervous to play it like this. Well, yeah, objective survive right now. Jump and jump. What else do we have? Let's try this minigame. One of them done. This level can also crash from normal. Yeah, it's it, for me. It's kind of hard to discern whether these like near crashes are happening because of the anti piracy, or whether it's because of uh, just it's they're just unstable levels. Especially with all the cheats I'm using. Oop. Mistake by me there. I am definitely swimming faster than normal. <laughs> you want a mod where the dinos hunt you down? <laughs> okay, go left here. Stay high. Go left. Go right. Nice. See, my, my speedrunning knowledge has come back to me a little bit. Mighty fine fucking. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Adrian? Yeah, I went to the hidden area. I'm gonna head back to the to the home world here. I can't Atlas warp. That's just not allowed. Oh, because I didn't kill the the sorceress. That makes sense. Exit. I wonder if the speed is is boosted up with the Agent Nine mini game. Oh damn, all this door and everything is like underneath. Yeah, that's what happens when you break uh, walls and stuff in Spyro 2 and 3 is the they the texture, the collision for the wall, it it like has the exploding animation, but it doesn't actually explode, it just teleports under the map like that. Should I do monkey shooting gallery? Atlas Warp comes from Bugbot? Oh, my bad. What does Sorceress give you? I forgot. Agent Nine's clothes, yeah. Even though I bought him. The sheriff promised me. It just makes money bags fuck off. Well, there you go. So I'm assuming this minigame is just the same. You gotta love the, the health, though. Well, I'm gonna let him shoot me just to see if it lowers the health at all. No, not at all. Just let them infinitely shoot me. I don't give a fuck, dude. I don't even care. Go ahead. Literally, I don't care. Whatever, bro. I'll take a little stretch here real quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, a little stretchy. Now get me out of this fucking level. I can't see the haters. I don't care. If the, I'm not sure if I can get into the speedway from underneath. I don't think it'll let me do that, will it? I'll go take a look at that, but otherwise I might head over to the, the Sorceress soon. I'm, I'm kind of delaying the inevitable here. How many am I at right now? It did say 82 out of nowhere. Guys, I think it's time to go to the Sorceress. I, I think it's time. <laughs> yeah, that's how I stretch, Penjis. I think it's time to just do it. Yeah, autosave is, is officially unavailable now. That's part of the anti-piracy. Even though there's technically a memory card in, it's just, it canceled autosaving. All right, I'm gonna hit the fucking F2 here. Hit the safe state. We're gonna go into the sorceress. 
if, if I can remember where this, where the fucking loading zone is. Is the loading zone not here? Do I actually have to get all the gem- I mean, I'll fucking cheat in the eggs if I have to. Normally you can just go into the loading- the loading zone for the sorceress this way. Huh. That's weird. Well, whatever. I guess I'll just get all the eggs that I need then. With a cheating. Get my boy Evie over here. Okay. A hundred eggs you want? We shall make it so. Tools. Even though I'm at I could go like casually get the rest of the eggs, I guess, but I want to reiterate it's gonna remove the eggs from my inventory, so there's really no point in doing that, like to be completely like, okay, I could go finish up some more midnight mountain levels and go back to some other home worlds. I'm just gonna cheat the eggs in and just see what how this ending plays out. I'm not trying to be here all fucking day with this shit. J just to have them get removed anyways, you know what I mean? Um what are the eggs? Have all eggs. Uh, let's put in... Or can I just like unlock? Unlock level. Let's just unlock level. I'm not going to give myself eggs. I'll just unlock level. Sorceress layer. Does, it, does that work? I might need to like reload the game for that to work. Which is kind of annoying because uh, then it's going to put me back at the start of Midnight Mountain. But I think that's fine. I think my save file might be corrupted though, so I, I'm hesitant to reset. Maybe I just need to get these eggs uh, manually. Let me see if uh, the other thing helps. Like, have all eggs. I didn't try that one. Have all eggs. Midnight Mountain. I'll just click the, the end levels here. on a bunch of these. I'll just click on have all eggs. See what happens. Do they just automatically add to my inventory? No, I think it's a sort of thing where I have to reload the game for it to work. So, I guess I'm just gonna... Maybe I do have to get these eggs, like, casually. Because I, I don't know if I can reset my... I'll try it. Here's what I'll do. I'll, I'll try resetting the game. I'll try resetting. I will put a save state right here. Uh, well, there was a save state right back there, actually. So we do have the save state. In case the actual save file is gone, I can just load the save state. So um, I will I will try this. Having all the eggs and... Uh, actually, I'm not even going to have all the eggs. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm going to turn that off. But we are going to turn on unlock level sorceress's layer. And we're going to reset. Because this, I think this is what activates it. Toggle pass forward. Oh, also I believe I have the, the movement speed cheat on, which doesn't allow the game to start. So let's turn that off. Do, I, do you want to order a pizza? Yeah, I'm starving. Yeah, you can do it on my app. Uh, my phone is in the room there. Yeah. Do you want anything on it specifically? No, just pepperoni is fine. Whatever you want. Um, what was I doing? Change disc uh, from f reset. I think it should work this time. Yeah. Uh, toggle fast for... Oh, fuck. Right when it entered demo mode. Dumb shit. <clears throat> See if we let's see if we can load the file for starters. I'm not sure if this is even a thing. If I can't load the file, then I then I'm probably gonna have to collect the eggs normally from the save state. Let's see what we got. If the file is gone, I'm just curious what this is gonna be. 32. It's down to 32 percent. Where it, I think it was 36 before. Okay, I'm in. It looks like I'm in Midnight Mountain. This is interesting. Let's see what we got. Okay, this is in Haunted Tomb, and I think the cheat is active now. With, um, 
fucking what's it called? This is a fun level to explore, by the way, out of bounds. Wow, there's collision up on top of those. I would have never guessed. Can I land on top of the fucking... <laughs> Look at this snake. The snake looks so derpy from above. It's like... Dude, there should be like a secret, like a skill point for going in his mouth or something. Okay. Exit level. Yeah, the glide, it's like, it's just a straight fly is like the cheat. It turns your glide into a fly, quote unquote. But in order to change heights, I have to like double jump out of it and stuff like that. Charge out of it, so to speak. Okay, I think the sorcerer should be open now. Okay, it's not. I think, guys, I think I need to just collect the eggs normally to, to open the sorcerer. So I'm just going to start doing that. 60. Hold on, I got to load the save state. No, I saved over. I saved over it. Idiot. You can't like undo a save state, right? That's not like a thing. Fuck. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna try this one more time. I'm gonna try turning on all eggs. I'm gonna try the whole like cheat and reset thing one more time. Before I commit to like actually collecting a bunch of shit. So I'm gonna turn on have all eggs again. And then we're gonna reset. And see if this works. Oop, fucked it up. Okay. No, fucking demo mode, stop. It's like, stop at the perfect. No, demo mode! Hold on. No! Okay, here we go. There we go. Alright. <laughs> The timing, dude. They, they they built these games to make demo mode happen when exactly when you don't want it to. Check the rocket. Yeah, because that'll take me back to sunrise, I believe, as well, right? No matter what I pick. Okay, please have the requirements. No? No, I don't have the requirements still. Shit. I guess we gotta get 40 more fucking eggs now. But it was weird because, um... Yeah, the anti-piracy is definitely in full swing here. I don't know if I can even get to the sorceress at this point. I remember going here when I was at like 69 or something and it, tell it got me straight to 80, which was weird. Fine, I'll start completing these levels then. I'll, I'll complete them all. You can't stop me. We'll see if I can get enough here. I, I, I had a chance before, but I think now I might have locked myself out here. Even though I turned on the have all eggs cheat and stuff like that. No, I'm trying to do the... Look, I'm, I tried to get in there. I thought you could just get in there from the loading zone. And the loading zone is back up here. Right? Am I tripping? Where is it? Jump, jump. You know? Where is it? Where is that loading zone? It's not there. Normally it's there. I wasn't even concerned about getting in the sorcerers before. But now I kind of am. Plus one for my terminally drunk chat. I'm not drinking yet. I'm not drinking until we get to Toy Story.
You think I could get underneath? I don't know if that's possible, but I'll try. Because if I go too low, then I'll uh, take a death. Yeah, the death plane occurs before you can get underneath. So let, let me see if I can get underneath, though, from another angle. Like, if I could go inside of an object, then maybe I could go underneath that way. Oop, too low. Put the full screen back on here. This is actually kind of a puzzle to be solved here. How can we get into the sorcerers? Oh wait, maybe I can go from above. That might get me inside. There's surely no collision up here. Oh yes, there is actually. Wow, there's actually a hole. Yeah, I think that's like where you like enter the area back from. I forgot about that hole right there. But still no out of bounds. We're looking, we're looking. Okay, so yeah, Ernesto and everybody else who's telling me to like do the any percent strat where you go around the back of the mountain, I will do that once again for you to prove that the loading zone is not there. This must be like a pre-release build where they didn't fuck that up. That's my only imagine, all I can imagine. Normally this should get me into the sorceress. Like this, around this spot. The ground behind the build. Oh, I got it. Okay. Okay, hold up. Okay, hold up. No, it was good. I just was in the wrong spot, I guess. I don't know. Guys. Wait a minute. Okay, okay. I'm not in Sunrise Spring yet. Uh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Pause. Okay, hold on. We need to make a new safe state here. Uh. We make it like right, right here. Safe state. What? F2. F2 right here. Okay. Save state created. Let's see if we can fucking beat the sorceress. If we can beat the sorceress, I'll consider this a successful playthrough. I tried cheating in the eggs and unlocking stuff, and that didn't even work. So I'll, I still consider this legit and not cheated. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Hold on, but I can run up to her to damage her, so let me do that. I don't know why I'm trying to avoid her attacks. I'm invincible. No! No! <laughs> Saving! Oh, no! I got... Okay, we got to load the save states now. This is where it gets intense. We got to start loading save states. <laughs> just puts you back... Just for funsies, I want to see what the atlas says. <laughs> what do we have left? We got nothing. We're we got nothing left. Not a single gem to our name. That's why I made that save state right at the start. Okay, F1, I believe. Hold on, let me let me check. But I gotta make sure it's the right one. Yeah, F1 loads. Okay, F1. Okay, let's let's keep trying this. I'm gonna see if this is possible. Come on, please. A prayer. This might take a few tries. I'm not sure if this will work or not. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. It's so close. Yes! No! <laughs> no! When does it- did that count? Are we counting that? Are we counting that? Did I do it? I, I technically killed the sorceress. Hold on, hold on. Let me try that again. Let me try that again. Let me see if I can at least get the egg. At least give me the egg. And then we'll count it. You know, normally the timing doesn't end until you grab the egg. If I grab the egg and then it teleports me, then it's a win. Oh god. I feel like I have to kill her. I feel like it's on a timer. Okay. Come on. Oh, I did it again. Fuck. Fuck. Try it again. Come on. If, if, if it keeps happening like this, then that's it. That's gotta be the, the way it goes. I want the egg though, so bad. I could try also exiting and re-entering maybe. No. Oh god. 
It's like there's like a hard trigger, I think, when she dies that it does it. Because there's a trigger during the fight that I think it's a timer, maybe. But I think during that death animation, it just happens. Just to see if it is a timer, I'm just going to wait here for a moment. Yeah. Maybe it is a timer, I don't know. I think it's like when she gets to- here, let me just keep her at, at, at a high amount of health for now. Just, just out of curiosity to see if that has anything to do with it. I don't know if I'm the first- Dumas, thank you, but I don't know if I'm the first person to do this. I don't think I am. Yeah, it's probably a timer and a failsafe, I think. Hold on, let me... I'm gonna try to exit and re-enter here. I wanna make the save state right when I enter. So that way I can just go and straight do it, because I waited for a moment before making the save state, so maybe, maybe I can get the egg if I'm quick enough. I'm not sure. Okay, this is good. All right, breathe. Maybe. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. This this might be it. This might be like I, at least I can at least I can kill her at least. Okay, safe state. Go. No! Oh, it was right there. It was right there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I saved it. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Wait a minute. Do I have another save state? I pressed the wrong button. That might be it, everybody. Where are my other saves, dude? No, that's it. That's it. My last save state's in, like, evening. Oh, it's, it's actually over here. Hold on. Wait a minute, it's not over yet. Load this. I just saved it right there, fucking idiot. Let me try to go in from behind one more time. I'm pulling out all the stops, hold up. I'm pulling out all the stops. Let me get all the fucking cheats available to me here. Let's get that super speed back. Uh, what else? Super speed. Uh, do I have any more, like, destroy all barrels instantly? I don't know. I don't think I can, like, kill the sorceress any faster than this, to be honest with you. I, there's no, like, insta-kill the sorceress cheat. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's just higher than I thought, the load zone. Okay, let's make the save state. It actually did save to the memory card, even though it said autosave unavailable. Okay, there's a new save state. Let's go. I need to stay right on her anus, just like... Yeah, see, that's too slow. That's too... I already know that's too slow. F1. So what I need to do is perfectly stay on her anus. Actually, the timer might be going right now, for all I know. I need to perfectly stay, like, right on her anus. And then that way she doesn't do the green hit, which does go a little slower. So let's try this one more time. Nope. I got- I, I want to do a perfect fight right here, just- just out of curiosity. My morbid curiosity is getting the best of me here. Ooh, that's not good. This feels slow, but I'll just keep it going for now. It's hard to get her not to do the green attack. You have to, like, be walking into her, I think. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, well, I think that's it. I Honestly, I think that's it. I'll do it one more time just for fun, but I think that's it, everybody. This is fucking... This has been Spyro 3 anti-piracy taken to its cheating limit. And I think it's safe to... I think it's safe to call this one a draw. 
I'm not gonna say the game won. I'm not gonna say that I won. It's somewhere in between. I did kill the sorceress, but I didn't get the egg. So if you wanted to find that as the game winning, then go ahead. But yeah, every pretty much every time in that cutscene, it is going to uh it is gonna go, so. I'll call I'll call it a draw. I'll call it a draw right there. Guys, this has been Spyro 3 Anti-Piracy. Thank you so much for watching. I honestly that was kind of dope. That was kind of a dope ending. I'm not going to lie. I wish I could have gotten the egg, but... I mean, it's, it's just semantics at that point, if I'm being honest. But yeah, here we are back at the beginning of the game with no fucking eggs, dude. Someone should do a run where it's like you do it all twice. <laughs> just to prove to the devs that you're devoted. That'd be pretty funny. Let's see if Zoe is still here. Uh, no, she's not. You have to trigger. The way you trigger Zoe, by the way, to those who are curious about trying this themselves, um, there's, as you may know, there's a Zoe NPC here that talks to you. Sometimes, the way you trigger her, I had to, like, read up on a bunch of, uh, HWD, like, comments and posts to learn this. You actually have to go to Sunny Villa and spend a certain amount of time there. Like, talk to a few NPCs and just, like, be there for, like, five, ten minutes, speed up the emulator there, whatever, and then she shows up here. Just fun fact. So that's a good way to test to see if, like, you have the anti-piracy on or not. Because otherwise you don't know until you're, like, fucking losing eggs and stuff. Try to teleport to level cheat. Do a 100% run without the cheats. I'm not sure if you realize this, but I have been speedrunning all three original Spyro games 100% for, like, several months, years now, so... Just check the rest of my channel if you want to see a full 100% speedrun without cheats. If you're saying the anti-piracy mod, as you can imagine, 100% is impossible because it removes eggs from your inventory. Anyways, that's it, guys. That's going to be Spyro 3 anti-piracy for me. That was quite an ending, I must say. That was quite an ending. I'm glad we did that. That was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool thing. Thing right there.